All right. Live. We're live. What's going on, everyone? It's Jaren is back again with a live video for you. And joining me, uh, the sexiest thing that ever walked the planet, David, David Weiss. Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hope I got that mixed you. up. Missa, oh, how are you? Good. <laughs> and we also oh, so you have... meant me? You didn't mean David. I meant you. You're number one. David's number two. Oh, number two. Okay. David, say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so that's uh, all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> Good. Well, um, first off, the show is actually brought to you by. We have a sponsor today, and that sponsor is Flat Earth Brewing Company. <laughs> they got this little poster here. It says, "My beer always stays." Sorry, my beer always seems to find its level. And then at the bottom, if you can see that, it says, "But that's none of my business, though." Are you sharing your screen? I believe so. Okay. And if you look here, something Missa just pointed out to me that I can't see, that I didn't see before. Do you see that, David? The uh, flat Earth map there. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know how you so, did. so that's a real brewing company. Hey, real brewing oh, that's, do you see the the flat Earth map in the bubbles? Yeah, that's what I didn't see before. Oh, okay. But now I do see it. So that's pretty balmy. is that pretty the balmy. real accurate map? Is that the map we've all been looking for? That is it. They they've had it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we just needed to drink more beer. There we go. So anyway, we are going to be looking at uh, some Apollo 16 footage. I can get it to come up here in a second. Um, because I know a lot of people have uh, made comments about the finding that now is that on the screen? You can see that everybody's good. David, yep. you can see what we're looking at. Okay. Um, yes, yes. So, Miss and I were watching some Apollo 16 footage, which we're going to be watching now. And in it, there is a spacewalk, I believe, when they're coming home. And there's clearly another scuba diver. So, we wanted to point that out. But we'll just kind of skip through this because we've already watched it and it is hilarious. Or if it's not a scuba diver, you can tell us what is yellow and floating in space <laughs> right next to him. So, you see here, we got the, uh, I mean, this is science, folks. Don't ever forget it. I don't know why you doubt it. It's kind of rude. I, I don't know. Is this real NASA footage that you're showing us here? Oh, well, this is website. actually NASA's footage. Because they have that archive at their, on their site that we just pull from. And this is the raw Are those footage. It, it looked like... Uh, it looked like somebody was on the front of that thing, like uh, Sasha really? Baron Cohen coming <laughs> at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Missa keeps saying, you know, there's people in there. We got people in there. There's some people in there. And here's That's the wire, stupid. you know. That's needed. Flowing in the wind. All right, come on. Wait, hold on a second. What's the source of this video? This, this is not real NASA footage. Oh, no, it this is. is Apollo 16 raw footage. Maybe you need to drop the link to that archive page on their website. And here it comes. Watch out. Whoop. Lock it in. But they have to speed up a little bit because they're a little too far away. There we there. go. <laughs> All right, we're, we're locked in. Everything's fine. Now, this is them uh, driving away from the moon. Oh my God. And it is funny. We saw several things in here that are hilarious. Oh. I'll see if I can pause it in time. Okay, first of all, that thing. That's we'll alien. Let's go back <laughs> and look at that. And I mean, this is the saddest part about this all is that this is, this is science. If it wasn't for this, I would have a hard time giving science a bad name. But when you have evolution to start with, and this is number two, <laughs> the moon landing. I mean, this is a person like in, you know, in a room or something. Who knows? Looks like a reflection. But uh, what they show here, this is clearly a fake moon. And in a second, they'll have to morph into like a telescope view, so you'll totally see the change. It's pretty, pretty so pretty. this is this is filmed through the window from that capsule we just saw. Yes. Mm -hmm. And look, look how they're like able to scan the whole moon. Oh, watch out! <laughs> they hit something. Okay. All right. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Now, in a second here, you can totally see a light. Um, spotlight on the spotlight. You know those lighting photos that we've seen of them. Uh, they were painting that big giant moon in mm -hmm. some warehouse, which is really needed. Yeah. You know, somebody brought up a good point about the uh, scuba divers too. If you do spacewalks at in the dark, then why wouldn't you practice in the pool in the dark? Mm. Well, the reason why. There it is. There you go. That's just a spotlight lighting up the moon. I guess I don't know what the hell else that could possibly be. This is the spotlight. That could be a reflection from the light in the cabin on the glass that they're looking through. Right, but mm -hmm. it's it, and it just so happens not to be moving with. Yeah, it's the, over there again. The, this, the <laughs> now they flip to this view, and uh, it looks yeah. like the moon's rolling, like it's rolling, it's turning, it was rolling kind of. And now look at that curve on the moon. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> I saw that from Earth. 
It's the, the Terminator. <laughs> oh, there it went away. They took care of it. Um, this is definitely real. That's that's what it looks like when you fly away from the moon. Very cool. So we'll get to the uh, scuba diver here, which I believe is next. Okay, yeah, here, here we, we go. go. So this is just a mess of a piece of film. First of all, I don't know why um, the astronauts don't have backpacks in this spacewalk, but like they don't have their life support. Um, There's so many them? things wrong with this. The big box that they usually have on their back. Oh, wait, or has, can I ask a question? Has any Glober ever explained why the spacesuits don't blow up like the Michelin Man, you know, due to the pressure differential? I don't think anybody's ever looked, any <clears throat> no. Glober's ever looked at these things because I know we didn't when we believed the Earth well, was the globe, I guess you could say. We never even knew these things existed, these videos. So I don't think that, I don't even think that they would even venture to try and explain. I don't know, maybe they would. Would Red's rhetoric explain? He has to think this is real, so I guess you'd have to explain it. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit out of control. So, you know, my opinion would be right here, you've got the uh, scuba divers behind him with his foot. Now, I, you know, I don't see that right here, so but you'll see it in a second. Um, because they got to hold his feet down. And I love the little floppy visor on the helmet, like in the 80s when they, they had those sunglasses that just like flipped up with the right. shades. <laughs> The other thing you'll notice is the uh, lack of like a where the shadow should be, oh, yeah. but we'll see that coming back. But this is a right really here funny he gets a foot cramp because he stops for a second. <laughs> and hopefully it's clear enough. Oh, could you see that bubble? We'll go back just so you can see. There's probably what fifteen bubbles here. Maybe, maybe fifteen bubbles. And, and I would I wouldn't say that there were bubbles if they weren't all going in the same direction. There's one. So look at they come this where, way. Where, where, where the bubbles going off the guy in the back? Okay. Uh, yeah, they look like they come from this direction. There's another one. And usually here he's probably getting set up for something. Who I know knows the video is not paused right now. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's just him taking time out. He's tired. So in a second here, and the most obvious part is you see the yellow scuba tank. tank. Yeah. So if it's not a scuba tank, then you need to explain to me what is yellow and attached to the, well, it's not attached anymore mm -hmm. to the outside of the ship. There was nothing yellow. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big tank. And he doesn't have, this time he doesn't have a, a sack hanging around him. You know what I mean? No bag. No bag. And you'll actually see, okay, so I want you to watch right here. Can you see my mouse? Yeah, right in the middle. Okay, this is, this cord is being held by the scuba diver and you'll be able to see it's not a shadow that what is Oh, there's another bubble. There it goes. Bye, bubble. Bye. And um, so you see this is a hand. And he's just helping him with it. It'll disappear, and then it'll come back. And it's not a shadow because you can see it. See underneath him here? Mm -hmm. We'll go back and show that. No. Oop, maybe okay. not. You need to show that scuba tank first because that the rest of this kind of sounds iffy. Oh. There's another bubble. Clearly water, clearly, uh, you know, NASA's busted, gigs up. It's obvious now. There goes another bubble. Here it is. Watch mm -hmm. it. And I I'm, I would say that before <laughs> I saw the scuba guys, um, I would say those little things flying off, I'd be like, you know, those could be like little flakies coming off. Like I never was a bubble believer. And I'm still like a 90% bubble believer. But if they're in the water, then the drops. You just see that one go right in front of your face? Well, yeah. Watch One of the things they do to, to to fool you is they film this at an angle or upside down at times. So the bubble's not going straight up because they got the camera, you know, turn 15 Absolutely. degrees to the side. Good. That's true. There's another bubble. Oh, there, I tried to pause it in time. I missed it. I saw it. The one went right in front of the screen. Okay. So if you kind of watch this area over here, you'll see that there's a scuba diver helping him. Another bubble. But you'll definitely see the tank here in a second. So you see that white flappy thing? So he's got thing. that white flappy thing. He pulls it over. And then... And you can actually see that there, there's the hand again. Now they let it go. Now here comes the uh, scuba yet. tank. There. Another you, bubble. You'll probably want to rerun in slow mode. Okay. That is oh, a... Oh, there it is. Diver. <laughs> The, you it. can actually see it's them it. swim out of the oh, picture and back into the picture. There's nothing else yellow that he took out there with him. Nope. So what would be yellow that what appears out in the middle of space? I have an answer. Okay, go, go ahead. 
The sun? Man <laughs> isn't quite ready for space travel, but the extraterrestrials, the aliens, want to encourage us, so they are out there assisting um, so we don't That's die. Yeah, That's and they're one. wearing scuba tanks. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's the thing. They they can they can breathe and go back in space, and pause but... it right on it to where you can see even those like the black stripes on it. Okay, and maybe a little further. There, maybe. Yeah. Did yeah, you, and you just it, found it, this today? Yeah, we just were watching it. I mean, we were actually is... we weren't even watching it for this. We were watching the the LEM take off or whatever. We're trying to find something else, right? And this just came on hey. automatically after. Jaren, lock your screen on to screen sharing, so when I talk, it doesn't pop over. Oh, is that happening? Hold yeah, on. you have to click on click on uh, share or, or, or on your screen, and then it'll share. Okay. You now everybody hates me. Present to everyone. <laughs> Why? They already hated you. No, you have the most love. Okay. And then just have now a is it locked on there when you find and see it. I I don't know. I'll check it out. They probably didn't see it every time that we pointed it out. Yeah. So just pause it when you see it. Okay. Everybody? So hopefully everybody can see that, but uh, it's a little maybe slow mo it first, and then try and pause it. I don't think I have slow mo in here. Oh my god! Can't believe it. We'll watch it again. It... Go ahead. Now, where did you get this video from? NASA's website. Yeah, they have a a site that's got all the films of all the moon landings. It's like a whole long. It's a white page with all these links. Okay, so there links you can see the tank start to appear. There's the diver there coming up. <laughs> oh my god! Now the, he doesn't have anything. He didn't take anything yellow out with him. He nope. didn't take anything with him. Nope. So th it's there's not even another choice. Mm -mm. Don't and, you um, think NASA would be smart enough to have black tanks? Right. Yeah, I would think so. They right? don't. Um, Maybe now they do because no? this is an old video. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, because you know they have to and improve. There's things another as bubble. They go. And everyone that's watching, I encourage you to go to any spacewalk. Try, oh, geez, that was a mess. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Um, any spacewalk, you know, any day. I mean, I wouldn't. I would try and go as old as you can, but uh, there's bubbles coming up everywhere. Yeah. Um, and just watch it, knowing that you watch it with new eyes. Watch it with new eyes. It. It's so obvious. And then there's so much wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you when he comes back here. That uh, the shadows are wrong. Um, just saw another thing out here, but I don't know what that was. But you can even see. And David even brought this. There's another bubble. David even brought this up. That it's purposely degraded the, the video and just like the one that I did the video on yesterday it's it's crummy quality on purpose so that you don't notice the morphing in and out of the bag or the changing of its color they can just say oh it's pixel changing right, right over it because they're never like, like the moon, yeah like the moon landings the the reporters at uh, NASA's headquarters wherever that place is called they were they were using a rear projection screen of the video and then they had to film the actual screen you can't get any more degraded than that right man there's just bubbles everywhere I don't know how nobody's ever seen this did he start doing his push-ups yet over there no doesn't he do something doesn't his shadow get weird here I forgot where oh, that when was he comes back over when he does like his no this whole part like I thought turned like black or something oh, I don't did. remember I love the other astronaut. He's like peeking. Yeah, what over is he doing? Back. I'll watch you from here. In case you fly off into space. Doesn't this look like he doesn't so, have a backpack on? He only, he has like a, a third size backpack. Mini backpack? Oh, rewind to show that one part with the right there where he, I saw that helmet come into view. Oh, that was weird. It's but it could have been this thing. Back, a little bit back. And we're going to go a little bit back and show you this there? Yeah, I think so. Right yeah. there. So I'm not sure what this. It's like a layer of some sort. Helmet thing is we it's tried to see what that was, helmet. but then it disappears. But anyways, but uh, I think they're just big fans of uh, layering. And this and is what would happen in water if you don't have scuba divers with you. There's another bubble. You need somebody to take care of your feet. Push, push you down. Yeah. Okay, so now watch here. Yep, there we go. Oh, get that. Nice catch. <laughs> and you'll see here in a second where it's just all wrong because look where his shadow is now. Okay. But then watch the shadow for, okay, so see how there's no shadow here for him? Yeah. So the, the, there cannot be, the sun can't be above you or else the sh there'd be a shadow there. He was right next to it. But yet this cord here showing a shadow on his back and his leg no right shadow? here yeah, that's weird. will show a shadow on his back. So I definitely his feel leg weird. Up. But I would obviously. See, this right here is a shadow from his leg. Uh, so if he's. What was, what, 
What was it just off. just went over his butt? Can you go back 10 seconds? Yeah, I saw something too. Like what does he even do with this? Do they bring this in? Is that what he went out there for to get something? I mean, think about that. You're, you're going to space. What could possibly go wrong that you would need to go outside for? Like what would be it, it's so ridiculous? You would never make something. anything. He opened something to take it out. Yeah, you would it. never make something like that. It's just not the way tire. you would. <laughs> he needed that spare tire for landing. Oh, did you see that? I think that's what he was talking about. I don't remember. This part here? Oh, I don't know. David, what, what did you see? No, there was something that went right over his butt before. Maybe it's coming up. I mean, it's right like here. a big black stripe. Mm. Or maybe it's the shadow of that the 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 pipe. Maybe that's all I saw. Oh, like this. See, so, I mean, the the shadow. Yeah, yeah that right there. Yeah. 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 What is he doing? That looks like a, a scuba diver's arm or something that went up there. And, yeah. and what would be here that's black on his shoe? What's what's causing that shadow? Nope, he fell asleep. <laughs> He's stuck. He's stuck. Something to help him? Looks like a pregnant lady's belly right there at the very bottom left corner. Look at those pants. Look, what are those pants that he's wearing? It just They're makes so no funny. sense at all. Like, They're like white. I, mean, I would. Hammer that, pants. It's like a cool, like, really warm snowboarding outfit. <laughs> <laughs> or like what toddlers wear with their diaper butt. <laughs> it does. <laughs> what is he doing? What, what would. What would <laughs> Did you, can you make some room for me? I'm David trying to gets, come back in. It gets really, really strenuous up there. You have to take a break every four minutes. He's just sticking his head in the hole like, can I come back <laughs> this in? This is or terrible. He's like, hey, t send, hand me the number four wrench, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have to <laughs> tighten <laughs> the hoozy <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we didn't we have a number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Where are his shadows of his legs? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. And what's causing that shadow on oh. him? Yeah. That's what makes sense. Yeah, true. Mean. What is that? Oh, oh, he's going back out. Oh, there, does he have glasses on? This is a oh. take two. Did they, oh, that was a take one. That was it. Another take two. Oh, what is that? That's like something they, some screen they look at. Um, yes, yeah, so I have more film that we can show, but oh boy. Do you see that? What is that supposed to, What is that? That's the craft that the, uh, I've never seen that craft the lunar before. module would, connects with. You mean the thing that has like a microphone? Oh, so this is the part we were watching, the takeoff, because let's see if we get back far enough. Oh, this is what we were trying to find. Yeah, because when it takes off, if you know, have you seen the LRO footage, David, that shows supposedly the paths on the moon and shows where the lander was? Mm. Have you seen that? Uh, maybe. It's just a while yeah, ago. People, people use it as, you know, oh, this is proof. But when this thing takes off, which it's on the ground here and it's about to take off, uh, there's no paths. So if there was a path that the LRO show, shows now, well, it wasn't there when they left, so mm. it doesn't make any sense. Is, Go. That a, is that a mountain right there down there? That little white like, pokey thing? Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh. Looks like a hurdle or something. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so it takes <laughs> off. And then... Uh, oh, that's so impressive. Yeah, that's real. That's absolutely real. Oh, Whoa. change direction. So see right here, this is where you can see their little lander thing, but there's oh, yeah. no there's no path here. I don't really see now, any, they, you mean like the wheel track? Yeah, if you go look at the LRO footage, which is like supposedly the or their orbiter. Images, yeah. yeah, it's got like a bunch of it's, paths coming out of here, going to like different areas. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're but not they're there not there now. when they took off. So mm. I and guess 16, they showed right? up after. You, you have to be about 130,000 miles away to see them. Yeah. <laughs> Is and they can't get close. Away? They can show, uh, they'll get within like five feet of some asteroid. But uh, the moon, no. We're going to have to show you Hubble telescope pictures from forever Posit away. scanned satellite imagery. In the non-visible spectrum. Oh, but What is that? Wait, see, I've never seen that before. What's this that? is the this is the craft that they fly there in. They just stuck a microphone There's people in here. It. There's a microphone up on top of it. There's people in there. There's people in there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Just spinning around. What are those like fixtures on the outside? I mean, uh, was, look at that. It's like a garden hose knob. And uh, is one of them yellow? <laughs> oh, right. Better be. Better be. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I can't stand the gold foil. That's like, I have nightmares of gold foil. Oh, I wonder if no, the volume doesn't work on this. There's no sound. Um, the great thing is, too, I have another video of showing them driving around with this thing. And this thing is going, look at it 
how bumpy it is. And the guy's talking completely normal. Yep, I'm over here driving along and doing just fine. Over there, I see a mountain. It's, like, it's, like it's this. only one six gravity, Jaron. He's not bumping around that hard. What's That's the camera true. doing? <laughs> Explain that one. Well, I saw some stars up there. Really. Sure, you did. It's true. I believe it. This is like oh. so convincing for me. It's so funny, too, because all the mountains and all the hills that they say that the moon has, mm -hmm. yet there's never mountains or hills, just In little ones. But where's the distant one? <laughs> the sun is shining is, right is there. All, is all the moon footage at like, you know, six frames per second or something? I mean, mm -hmm. is it? It's the worst. It's bad. I have some pretty like good it. ones. Should we show that one where the guy does the, he gets all pissed off and talks to the guy off kicks stage? over the science project. Oh, that if we only gave them an extra $5 million a day, they'd probably be able to get higher resolution cameras. I agree. Let's, yeah, 55 million is about right. I think that's um, what they should get. Let's put in a petition to give them more money. Yeah, let's do that. They always complain that they don't have enough. Well, they don't. It's clear. Give me one second. We're going to bring up... Uh, some other NASA footage here. He just comes in and like tramples over the thing the guy spent like an hour on, and then he tries to push it in for him. Yeah, I've got some good. It's funny stuff. That site, I'll give. I'll drop the link there because um, yeah, you got to go that. there just for yeah, fun and people games. People can just like, I mean, just spend a whole night in there. It'd be fun. Be loser like us. Yeah, <laughs> or this is great. I'll show you these couple pictures real quick. So there's some guy that's supposedly going to be the first man in space, uh, first civilian. He's like an artist or something. And I saw these pictures of him, and it's like, this guy floating in space, getting ready for his training. And I said, yeah, he's floating in space because there's some guy in a blue uniform holding him up. What the hell is that? Practice. Practice. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. I'm like, why are they showing that? Do they think people are not going to see that? There's another one. It's like, here's me floating in space. I mean, being held up by... So do you think that they use, like, these guys in, uh, you know, blue suits well, or green suits, whatever you want, in the, in the, in the zero, in this in the ISS footage? Maybe, I mean, they must. Why else would you do, why else would anybody have a blue suit like that? What, what would be the, what could possibly be the reason that you would, if you're gonna, if you're training somebody to go to space, then they can be in jeans. What the hell difference does it make? Why would you put them in a blue suit unless you're blue screening them out of there? Or something. It's ridiculous. I mean, when you really think about it, none of this, none of it makes sense. The whole pool training with, with, these scuba but divers it all makes, makes no sense, sense if you if you know that they're faking it all. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. Did you see this, uh, David? Oh, yeah. Did David see that? Look at this picture. Uh, this is a uh, flat Earth map on the back there. That's at Goddard Space Center, or well, it was at Goddard. I'm sure it's not there anymore. Clark. It, they said it was Clark. Um, and that's uh, Nixon, who was yeah. in uh, the office for all the Apollo missions. Yep. Yeah, I found that. That was pretty, pretty cool. Which thing. is weird about that because uh, Joe Rogan went off the other day. I heard him going off about how crooked Nixon was. <laughs> what a crook! We they, they need to look into everything that man did during that. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, moon landings. And Hello. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wake up, dude. But don't look into the moon landings. Everything but the moon landings. Okay. Yeah, please don't look into the moon landings. Because if you do, then you're not going to believe they happened. And where is those videos? Oh, the, the, that picture. Which one? Of them training with the blue. Oh, white. yeah. There's another great picture. Missa found. Oh, I spun it. That's why. Let me spin it back. Okay. So, see this? This is them training in the zero, or was it six, one six gravity? And you'll notice something weird. See this backdrop here? Mm -hmm. And if you spin the video around or spin the picture around, this is what they did. And that's why this ground is slanted, it's slanted because it matches lines. the wall. And where else have we seen that checkered hmm. backdrop before? I don't know. I remember Red's Rhetoric making fun of us for mm. claiming that it could ever possibly be something to do with green screening. Oh, the ISS. That's right. Yes, Tim indeed. Peak. Um, let's see here. Where are we at? Uh, okay. So wait, wait a minute. Can you go back to that picture? <laughs> is just... that not? Is that just they're using? An, it's an illusion. It's not right angles. We have. We have. Uh, no, know, and the, those aren't the... squares. They they are at this. This they're way, diag they're diagonal squares to almost. I don't know what they would. They use it to line people up. You have to be lined up. Mm -hmm. It's like a measurement tool. But I mean, we'll, sh we'll show you some moon footage that we've been watching where it looks like they're at an angle, kind of. Yeah, they're being this. The, the strings go to the side. People are always looking for strings carrying them from the top, but they're actually being uh, held up from the side. 
I'll show to you. me, it looks like that 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 checkered wall is actually tilting away from them, and that we we see it as straight because those strings are not at all at right angles, making squares. It's like one of those street art illusions. Maybe. Right, and you see the the ground is tilted, right? Yeah, the ground is tilted, or the yeah. side wall. Those, mm -hmm. those the walls, the walls and ground are not meeting at right angles. That is an optical illusion, I think. Hmm. So why would they do that? You have a reasonings. Just to fake it. I mean, if you can get someone to believe that a wall is going straight up, you can make it look like they're floating. You know, depending on how you position them. Right. Mm -hmm. So that would be a setup for their backdrop that they're going to input with, like the real astronauts. Right. Right. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, th oh, this is the one we just looked at. That's the takeoff we just looked at. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my videos are. This is great. It's fun, isn't it? No. Here's all my scuba stuff. I don't like waiting for and, you. And you know, this is the patch, right? You've seen this patch. Oh, no, that's not the one. It's the one with the scuba guy. Mm. And also, this is another. You're finding all kinds of great pictures. This is the uh, Christopher Columbus's map. And it and looks like the Piri Rice map, but it's not. It's yeah, different. it's kind of weird because you don't know what's going on here. It's a little too messy. But what is this? That This is all the planets and stars. stars. But what is this? Is this? I bet you Christopher Columbus was a flat earther. <laughs> but he just knew how to go around. Because what else could this be? If this has to be the Earth, why would this be the map? He didn't know it was a globe yet. So I don't know. According to what we're told and so taught. The, the, oh. the what? Oh, nothing. I was thinking of it. Oh. Don't think I yourself. wish I could read that text that's written out. Right I know. Look at this text down here. I mean, you can't. We tried to find a better copy. Of course, you're not going to find that anywhere. There's black people hanging around with like. Shooting each other? <laughs> no. That's what they're doing. Oh. I think they're just dancing. They're dancing? <laughs> yeah. No, that's a bow and arrow. Oh. He's shooting that lady. Oh. Okay, let me find this uh, videos for you. <laughs> okay. So does it count that I emotionally voted for Trump? No. Okay. Just wondering. That is not okay. Like it's the thought that counts, my mom used to say. David, tell everybody what you did today and how proud you are of yourself. Oh, Jesus, Jaren. Um, I, I broke down and voted. I had to because it, and I don't even want to say that I'm supporting Trump, but you know, his Gettysburg address, his last speech was pretty good. Did you listen to it? Yeah. We listened to the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, it was very yeah it's, good. Pretty, it's pretty amazing. Um, on the hopes that maybe you know, this thing has gotten away from the elite and, and uh, they expected uh, him to crash and burn, but he made it through all of the ridiculousness that they accused him of, um, you know, I, I don't know what he's saying. You know, if Trump gets elected, we're going to see some crazy times coming up because he well, has to do at least some of what he says. Yeah, that list was, I mean, did Hillary even at all once say something she was going to change? No, she just no. made fun of Trump the whole time. He no, actually no and the... And the fact that, you know, all of the stuff Hillary's been charged with is insane. I mean, you know, the, the drug trafficking, the, the Clinton body count, all of her corruption, all the companies she worked with, they all were indicted and, and they were guilty and record numbers of people leaving the country and disappearing before they could testify. Yeah. Um, but scratch all of that. What about her, her, her dinners at uh, that Maria lady's house where they're doing the, the blood dinners? I mean, they're practicing, they're openly practicing Satanism. Yes. And, and people just short circuit and they're like, oh, no, no, but she has a vagina. We have to have her in office. I guess that's my mom's opinion. I can't think of what else could possibly be. You asked your reason. mom. Oh, my God. You asked your mom who she voted for. She's like, well, I voted for Hillary because I hate Trump. Okay, well, that's real good. Let's just settle for the murder. Yeah, let's go for the murder. That sounds better. That's crazy. Uh, this <laughs> I mean, and she went to Epstein's Island, Pedophilia Island, where they where it's known that they're they're abusing children. And I mean, the Podesta emails. Also, the Podesta, the um, the Comey guy, you know, six hundred and fifty thousand emails in nine days. If they had twelve people working around the clock without peeing or stopping or blinking, they would they would have to read an email every five seconds and never review one twice. Okay, right. It, impossible. It took them. It took them a year and a half to go through sixty thousand emails or whatever the original number was. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, he came to the same uh, determination that he doesn't want to die. She's innocent. Jeez. 
Yep, that's what everybody does, right? Like, I'd rather live. Yeah. And there's the fact yeah. that she didn't turn in that one laptop when they spent a whole year asking for all of her devices. <laughs> like, oh, here's another one. Right. Oop, Jesus. People, like, people are complaining. Back to the video, please. <laughs> oh, are you, I agree. Not, am I not presenting? I agree. No, no. no we, we want, want to hear us more analysis. Yeah, here we go. Is this the I one? I think you're um, presenting. No, but this one's pretty funny, too. Can you ask people if they see? Well, this one, they, they make some mistakes because this guy. Uh, you, threw, you are presenting. Oh, good. Okay. And I'll, I'm finding the video. It's I don't think this is the one that he tramples. Oh, no. This one is the guy who breaks it. Or breaks he throws, it. He oh, goes and I takes a drink now. of water. Is yeah, there's one. one. <laughs> I got to find it. The guy says, I'm going to go take a drink of water. And then the guy's like, okay. And then he goes over to the side, grabs a bottle of water. Then they like spin. Well, it looks like he grabs something. Then they like pan, pan away, away from him. Yeah. Then pan back. Like, how did he drink the water? And then he throws the bottle and it goes into space. Yeah, he throws the bottle and it never comes down. <laughs> it's like, that's what they think is uh, <gasps> impressive. And they always, look at, right here, he's going to throw something. See that? He just throws something. It doesn't it doesn't take six times as long to get to the ground. That guy oh. just winged that. <laughs> I mean, these guys are total whistleblowers, in my opinion. Yeah. They, they act like such assholes. They're doing it on purpose. They meant for people to find this out. They absolutely, he broke that. He just broke an experiment. Probably cost millions of dollars. He's like, oop. I did it here. I really done a number. Probably play the the sound. Oh, it's probably funny. Here we'll play the sound because it's funny. I want to tell you talk to yourself out here. I don't bet they can't hear it. Who me? I can hear. I can hear it. He said, "Do you find yourself talking to yourself out here?" (laughs) You're getting farther and farther behind. Well, I've had my once for today. <laughs> Doing what? Oh, no. Doing what? <laughs> you just did my whiffer deal. Oh, did you fall? No. It's funny how uh, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, isn't it? Hey, I've heard that before. <laughs> okay, where's the one? Where is it? This one? The one where he breaks the thing is the funniest thing ever. Oh, I'm going to take a zap of cold water. Oh, here's the cold oh, water one. Oh, yeah. good to me. Okay, so you just said I'm going to take a zap of cold water. Wanders off over here. Now he's going to grab something. Oops. We lost the image. Hold on. Sorry. I'll come back. Why does it do that? I don't really know. Am I sharing? Oops. Damn it. I think I fixed it. I'll start over again. You can see it now? Yep. Okay, we're starting over here. So, he, so he's getting a drink of water. Bob, I'm going to take a zap of cold water. Okay, sounds good to me. Whee! Okay, so he grabs a... Almost looks like it's getting dark out, is it? Bottle. Just not. Then they span over here. <laughs> then they go back to him. Oh, and he takes this bottle. Oh, and oh. wings it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Let's just litter on the moon. That's good. Don't put anything in the trash can, heaven forbid. And then that's this is not the one that the good one. We'll go back to that one. Uh, can I go back here? Can you press next? Oh jeez. Uh, no, there's no next. I guess I gotta minimize. Which is gonna or do I close it? I don't remember. Ah, bless it. Sorry. Um, we'll figure this out eventually. Okay, so it's gonna be. I'll tell you which one it is if you scroll. Because I can see it. I can tell for that one right there, the top, top right. Here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think one. it's this one. Oh. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Very great. Flight tell me we agree with it. Hey, you know, uh, yeah, this is it. Because this guy couldn't figure it out. Turn, I'll get up. Turn so I'm turn the volume for a second. So he's trying to figure just, this thing out. He can't do it's it. It's a science experiment, by the way. Then he says he's going to go take a break, and that's how he takes a break. Just standing there. He just stands there. I'm going to take a break. So then they get mad because uh, this guy needs to come help him. And uh, he comes over here in a second. And to then, be the then play the volume when the guy comes over because that's funny. Okay. It is hilarious. So now see this white like experiment going on over here? On the it's like left. a little um, pylon or something. It looks like it's like, you know, <clears throat> hoisted up or tilted up or something. This guy comes over here and just destroys it. That's why we have the LSD enabled. Oh, Okay, with Jane's right of oxygen. I'll just guy just trample it. Let me come over here and forget this experiment. 
uh, play plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slamma County has also suggested they just try playing straight out. Uh, Probably a million bucks. Deal, loose in that direction. Just that step all over, over it. <laughs> So they play with this for a while, and then this is where this guy falls. Now, remember, if this post goes through your suit or something, you die. Yeah. So they go get it. We'll float. Float. That's the key. <laughs> what is he doing? He's like balancing on that thing. Oh. Watch how he's like sliding. He's like sliding at an angle, kind of. Go. Go. Get it. Okay, when he goes like this, no more from you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here, he falls. He's like talking to your drunk friend. I mean, this is ridiculous. How can people not see this? I know. Watch this part. I mean, this part is so funny because he just tries to take it too far and then falls way over here. And then his buddy tells him, puts his finger up in his face, like that'll be the last time you do that. Watch right here. Hey, is Flat Earth Math in the in the chat? We should invite him on. He's welcome to come on. I would love I'd to have love him. I'd love to hear what his opinion. He, he takes forever to fall. Like he gets here he goes right here. He goes whoop, and That's because it's gone. There you go. <laughs> now watch his buddy go over there and tell him, puts his finger up in his face, like, dude, get up. Dude, we don't do that. He here, destroyed so. that entire project. It's him, trampled. Dude. We don't yeah. do this on the moon. <laughs> we act. We act like adults. You're making a mockery of this whole space walk <laughs> agency. <laughs> and uh, then you know, he tries to come back and help, and he's like, "Just go away." Now I got to show him the frolicking guy. Oh, the the dancer, the dancer, the dancing astronaut. I'm wondering if this is the one or not. And the uh, now the, another thing. In a couple of these videos, one of the astronauts repeatedly says, I need more slack. Give me more slack. Like, what do you ask for slack right. for other than if you're connected to a rope? Well, oh, that's not the right one. That's when they're looking at some thing there. Get out of there. Uh, which one is it? Not that one. That but that one, the guy's totally leaning. You totally can, leaning. I mean, look at this one. Yeah. I don't know why anybody's ever seen this. I mean, what is going on here? Yeah, guy's a sword. Like, like, He's got his sword. <laughs> uh, I got the sword. Oh. And and you see him as he walks up here. You can tell this is a slanted seam because he's slipping backwards. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I go forward here. Okay. So watch him when he gets up here. And he'll start. See, he's trying to. You see how hard it is for him to get up? Because he's being pulled mm -hmm. backwards. He's like, I can't get up there. And he just keeps sliding. Oh, my thing's in the way. So he's sliding down. Slide. He can't even get up there. such a disaster and look at this big old pile of dirt yeah. okay let's see is it uh let's see it's got to be this one no we did that one this one the one that where the oh, guy talks off the scene he's is talking to the sky this to might the be this one yeah it's this one because he breaks something and then gets all pissed you have to play the volume i think okay yeah so this guy keeps falling now just listen to him and then watch what he does over here Why are they always on the ground? Do do you gay? Did you see him drop that box? It seemed to just fall right down. Yeah, imagine that. He drops it again. He drops things about five times here and then just gets pissed. I think he tries to quit. Is that how you stand up when oh, you're up there? Oh, oh, damn it. Let me get this and, and here we go. <laughs> God damn it. That's so bad. Wouldn't the dust just not settle? I mean, dust takes yeah. a long time to settle here Good. yeah true. and also he didn't even make a noise like he fell he's just like and then he dropped something else again here yeah. then he's just had enough no dead gummit oh he dropped it again well i'll just leave it there so this is hilarious here would you go over and help twinkle toes please He's like, I'm done with this. I tell you, you fix that camera bracket so the bag stay on, and I'll be a lot better off. So we think it looks like he's talking to somebody off stage here. No, I don't. I don't need any help. Okay. Jack, you might. Look at him. He's pissed. Get me out of here. I'm done. Cut the scene. Had enough. I'm very worried about that. I don't know what you do about it. You might worry about it. What is he possibly doing? Can't take this. Maybe there's somebody in a blue suit standing right in front of him, helping him, adjusting something. 
kill my family. I don't care. And and then he starts doing some weird move, like. The, uh, rake. The rake. Yeah. So he's like telling somebody, that's "Come here, I'm done. I want this cable off me." Because that's not a rake. And then he starts doing that weird move. Yeah, look at his. Now he does this weird knee bend move. I keep seeing this crazy little white arrow flying around him. Look at his knees. What is he doing? <laughs> Anybody? I said he's pissing on the moon. <laughs> Maybe he's pooping. <laughs> what is going on? And uh, <laughs> is his suit filthy, dirty? Yeah, it looks like it's camouflaged. <laughs> Come on, get back in there. Get back in there? Get what are you trying to do? <laughs> so, how? Did... Okay. Oh god, these guys are too funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just got to show the one other dancing one. That's it. David was saying something. Uh, Go ahead, David. Yeah. No, I was going to say, how do they clean off his suit oh. for the next spacewalk? I don't know. I don't think they do. Oh, good call. Because they have to spacewalk after that. Does it, that's the same one. I remember the one with the big pole. That's the one it is. Yeah, it's right after this part. So it's the next one. And that one just... Watch this one. He's like, I'm trying to push this into the moon. He's pushing this into the ground. Look how big this pole is. And watch right here. Okay, just slide it in here like this and push a little harder and push a little harder and then up, up and uh, shove it and there it goes into the moon. Is someone not push? <laughs> is that someone not pulling it? Like, what the hell? Well, how did that go into the moon? Like what kind of ground is that? What? Yeah, like it's, it's so ridiculous. Like quicksand or going through water. I don't know. I don't know how any scientist you need to play can that again, live babe. with themselves. You can't just breeze right over that. Play I have that to because I have to show the dancing first. The no. dancing's too funny. That's it. That's not it. Okay, so this guy's trying to get this big pole in. Oh, right here. Okay, so watch this, because it didn't make any sense to me. Okay, see how big that pole is? He's trying to get it in the ground. Now, just keep an eye how far away we go from him. He's still right there. He's pretty close. Hey, and Nathan go uh, Oakley figured out how it goes into the moon. How? Because it's made, of, it's made of cheese. Cheese. Oh, hey, you know, I don't know why we didn't think of that before. <laughs> now they pan back to this guy, and his pole's gone. Well, if we saw how quickly it went in last time. Yeah, but the guy doesn't even, he's just, he's gone now. Oh, I'm done with that pole. Yeah, it went in super quick, like the last one. So the moon just, we can just stick sticks right into the moon? Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch it, this part now. It could be hollow. As Bob yeah, says it's hollow. Now watch this part. They pan over here, and this guy comes running into the scene, frolicking. I, I think it looks like a, you know those people who um, run on baseball fields? The streakers. The streakers. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be the other astronaut because he looks like he's wearing jeans. This guy Where comes running into the scene, jumping around, does a little dance over here. Doo -doo 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 and then they pan away <laughs> like, oh, we're not supposed to see that. And do it again because that's too funny. See, now that's, those are the little gnomes on the moon that... Yeah, that's alien. That's the ones that help in the space Full box. disclosure. It's like, I don't think this guy was supposed to be... He's like running and then he jumps and then does like a little... Leg frolic, he goes run and leap and land and then do a little dance. He looks like he's wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh my god, really funny! They're just doing this to laugh at us. They're like, Look, we can do anything and they'll believe it, right? We'll just trample on million dollar experiments. You know, it's it's the um, so the I call them what do I call them now? The schmucks. The schmucks. Okay, the schmucks that run the world. Or the dicks. I said the dicks, actually. That's the one I was The dicks. Say. The dicks that run the Soon world. Soon it'll be a vagina. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's coming. Well, they hire these people to do these things, and they're, I think, the guys that are, whatever, being filmed, doing all these different jobs for them. Um, they're laughing because it's ridiculous, but the other guys that are filming, they're like, God damn it, just be serious. It's supposed to be real. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, but they also so, know that we're asking these guys to fake it, so we can't be too rude. Yeah, yeah. They'll just out so, us all. Hang on a second. Has anyone ever explained one how the camera pans up? But more importantly, <clears throat> if the moon's gravity is one-sixth of the Earth, um, how much propulsion would you need to blast that thing off the Earth and divide that by six? I don't. I see a firecracker went off, and now it's leaving. Well, you know what? They, use, they use some sort of uh, propellant that we don't use on Earth. 
I've looked into it before. It's something like magical magic sauce that they use. Magic sauce. Well, because you can't have regular p propulsion, right? I mean, they, they don't even it, try. It's, and it's, it's a magic propulsion that can push off empty space. Right, because that exists. Yes. Look at this thing. I mean, like that would... <laughs> Such a joke. They say as far as the uh, panning is just that they controlled it from from NASA, which means and they who, have to. Who went and it, and it transmitted the signal back to home. Which is impossible in and of itself. Although Bob said it's possible, <laughs> it's just really expensive. But uh, I don't know. I, don't I think can't it. get internet on the other side of my house. Right, exactly. I say I can't <laughs> go, you know, Wi-Fi. I'm not going to get it if I go five feet in front of my front door. Yet... Uh, Somehow these guys did it. Let me see. Did we get them all? We saw that one. We saw that one. Uh, I don't know if we saw this one. And these, they, there's, there's thousands of these, uh, these different um, little clips that you can download. So he just threw, he's taking things off this cart and just throwing them. Throw it. Jaren, put, a, put a link to this web page uh, and I'll share it in the chat so we can have other people start, start going looking. through these and use the Mark Sargent hive mind there you uh, go. to, to uh, get other people to find the stuff and, uh, and either make videos themselves or, or point it out to other people. Uh, I'm trying to find it here now. So as soon as Jaron gets it, I'll put it in the chat and okay. uh, you guys can uh, take Close it from on. there. And stop sharing. Okay. And I'm going to get you this. And then what, what I'll do is I'll just bring up some random spacewalk. We'll go random and see if we can find anything in it. But uh, let me see what that was here. So we go Apollo videos. And it's under here, I believe. Nope. Hold on. I was just there, too. Apollo. It's just one. So anything else new, David? Uh, no, just it's election day or selection day. And uh, I have no idea what's going to happen. Somebody's saying that I'm sounding very nasally, but that's just me. That's just you. <laughs> okay, so I think it's this yeah. One. yeah, this one. So all these, I'm going to drop this. This is for Apollo 16, but from here you can just hit the, the main page and then get all of them. Uh, let me see here. Go drop this in here. Okay. Okay. And I'll actually share that page. So I can show it. Um, okay. Here we go. There. So it looks like these you can find. Um, you just go through, and everywhere that it says a certain megabyte, those are all videos. So any of these that say megabytes are just video after video after video. These are all videos. They describe what's going on. The way I go about it is anything that they describe, like in detail, I usually don't. I don't look at those videos because I think that they want you to look at those. So I always look for when they don't mention it. And look how long this is. I mean, you can go forever. And this is just Apollo 16. So, I mean, you can go to any Apollo and um, just look at the image library. You can just change up here, see where it says A16. So if I change I that. I just posted it. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just posted it in chat like four times in a row. It's the same link. I just posted it so you guys will see it. Awesome. Yeah, you can just All hit right. Apollo 11 instead. Like I just changed that. And then you can go down here, find the videos. Uh, there's flight plans. You can find all the... Uh, mission reports and, and you know this is all done so that if somebody goes looking they're gonna say there's no way you could possibly fake all this except for the fact that if you get uh, you know a couple hundred million or billion dollars to do it then it's worth the time of faking all this it wouldn't be worth it to do it for free but if you're fooling people then it's absolutely worth it so you just go to any of these Apollos go to let's see we'll go to Apollo 17 do you think with all of the funding you know the 50 million dollars a day NASA gets that um you know the people that are actually doing the fakery that they're actually having budget wars where they have meetings where like you know hey we need you know two hundred thousand dollars to pull this off and they're like nah you could do that for a hundred thousand or fifty thousand <laughs> do you think that they're having like lower level you know uh, uh, funding wars or like you know hey uh we need uh you know 2.4 million dollars this month to pull off this fakery and they're like no no you can't have that you got to do it for three hundred thousand there's like the real budget and then there's like the uh, the black budget. Yeah. So this is, um, you can just go to any of these. Uh, if you want to pick a which day the EVA was for Apollo 17, then you just go to like Geology Station 9. Then all these clips, you just click one and you're going to get uh, downloaded 
and then just wait. They're, they're small. They're all like 30 megabytes um, around there because they're short. And then uh, we'll pull this one up, just a random one, see what we got. See if we get anything good. Oh, taking off. So this is Apollo 17. This is the last time we ever were on the moon. Oh, the nostalgia. Oh. How many people are in there? Uh, two. In this part. This little octagon here. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I guess they're not leaving yet. He said, can you get out of the way, please? I guess just turn that up a little. What is this guy doing? What? No, that's me he's talking to. How can anybody watch this stuff and come to the conclusion it's real? Okay, it looks pretty good. Uh, see, go ahead. Go ahead. It looks pretty good. I don't know where I am yet. I don't know where I am yet. Okay. Okay, Bob. Here come the rap. Hmm? Oh, we're watching. About three times. Hmm? Yeah, that's why people just need to look at this stuff. Contrast. What's going on here? Okay, that was three. It looks like a hard tray, doesn't it? You want him to pick it up and shake it? Not to pick it up, but stick the UHT in it and rock it. Rock it. <laughs> oh, no, lift it up. Okay, uh, Jack, uh, it's uh, really fighting us pretty hard. Uh, we'd like you to put the UHT in the socket. And it's all minutes. just nonsense. There's nothing much he can do when he gets. So back. wait, this this is video of the last time they were there, the one that I asked who panned up. Who's panning left and right? There, it's no. all being done from Na from NASA headquarters. They say, which even though there's like a three second delay. So anyway, all these you can just click any of these. They're all videos, um, and this is why you know, if anybody ever had the time. There is a list of how many photos were taken on each mission. So, like, let's say you take the amount of photos from Apollo 17, um, for instance. So, you, and it's better to do the earlier missions because they were there less time. Otherwise, you're going to be busy for a while. But Apollo 17, oops, I'm going to put Apollo 17 photos, and you can. I, I forgot where I found it, but there's a site that tells you how many of each um, that there is, and it's something like here you go, 9,200 Apollo mission photos. So. You can just do the math and realize it's clearly impossible because we just watched all that video of those guys doing things. Well, when you do the math and figure out how many pictures they would have had to each take per minute, it's something like three or four pictures per minute for each guy just to make the amount of pictures that NASA has released, which is uh, clearly impossible because we watched them riding the buggy, uh, doing what they were doing, nonsense. Um, but yeah, you just need to... There's a place where you can actually see... Uh, pictures per, you see Apollo pictures per mission, and it's it's outrageous. It's um, let's see here, image gallery. This thing's it. No, I don't know where it's at, but I've uh, over on Flickr. Say I have eighty four hundred from the moon missions on Flickr. That's eighty four hundred pictures. That's a ton. This this one. So anyway, uh, that's something interesting people can look into. Obviously, the um, his head's looking right at us. Um, yep, that's all real. Oh, yeah, there's the Earth. Can you believe it? And, I mean, you can just drop these into um, Photo Forensics, too. I don't know if you guys use that, but I do. I just hit Copy Image Address, go to Photo Forensics. And drop it in there hit upload URL and then it will give you a uh, air level analysis on the picture and usually you'll see um, here I can't really tell but even that you can see it's like a square like a pasted on image and you're not gonna find I mean you can look at current pictures like a uh, SpaceX and pull up the what they call metadata uh, you know these are not digital photos so they're not the the same as like today if we look up a like a SpaceX, let me show you SpaceX landing. And then you'll see that what a mess things are. Let's see here, images. Because they, they, all these things are drawn, all these things are done in Photoshop. Um, let me see where's that landing where they land on Earth. Where's this one, let's see. Okay, so something like this, even. Um, which is, you know, terrible picture, but we'll go here, copy link address. Not copy link address, copy image address. Here, upload. 
and this is like happens all the time that every one of these I pull up um, are usually that one's not real bad except for the fact that okay so when you look at air level analysis any kind of color needs to maintain the same meaning that flame is like a, a bright red sorry she's my mouse and it turns black see that so anything else that's that color needs to also turn black so the fact that it doesn't usually tells you that something's been painted on there and then if you go to metadata um, you'll see that they they take out all the important data and that's something that's science there's no reason you know if you take pictures from your house of your family well then you should probably remove the metadata because it would include gps information um that people would be able to find you dates things like that well they pull all their metadata which doesn't make any sense for somebody who is um doing science the quality is 65 percent, so that's been ducked down what they call ducky it's uh purposely image the quality of the image has been reduced on purpose um, and just when you see stuff like that, that's all I need to see to know that um, these things are fake. Uh, copy image address. If it was real, you would present it with full EXIF data. Look at our date. Look at our GPS location. We are where we say we are. It is the date we say. It is the time it's supposed to be. There's no reason why you would ever not show that information unless you have something to hide. Oops, is that, is that the right image URL? Doesn't look right. Did I grab the wrong? Okay, I did. Dave, you still with me? Yes, I yes, am. Yes, I am. All right. And, and this, I mean, this picture here is just terrible. That's not what you're, when you see this background like this, uh, any kind of picture, I wonder if I have like a moon picture or something this has, to show you what a real image would look like that, um, or if we can find anything we know would be real, just so you can see what real images look like. But yeah, all this stuff is just, Fake as can be. Uh, so something like this, this picture here probably looks real. So let me go here, copy image, address. And you'll see the difference if it is real. Paste, upload. Oh geez, that is terrible. That is not what it should look like. This is this is usually like a picture of a picture. It's uh, That's terrible. I mean, that's, pff, I don't even know how to describe that. That's really a mess. And that's what they do. That you can't. I mean, all you can determine is it's not real. Let me look at a. Um, Issa, what is your your Flickr address? This is skeptic. I mean, what is your name on Flickr? It's kind of weird. You have to just click through your website. It's on journalism. Yeah. Because I don't know spaces and stuff in the name. I don't remember. Spaces in the name. Oh, got you. Just go to pictures. Mm -hmm. Or more. It might be under more. I don't remember where you put me. I, th I don't think I have you on here anymore. Yeah. More, go more. No, it's not. Pictures aren't more. Oh, links? It's not in links? No. Uh, okay, so I'll find go it. To, go to my Mrs. Jaronism, or sorry, Mrs. Skeptic. Blah, 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 blah. Mrs. Skeptic. With a K. At blogspot? Dot blogspot. Sorry. To show a moon picture. Yeah, and then go into scroll down on the side. Should be flicker or something. Here I get flicker. We got you. And do you have ones that you didn't change with your um, with your little? I haven't changed. I didn't. All I did was put my name on some of them. Okay, so like this one's good. Okay, so this is a picture we took. Oh, but you have your name on it. Yeah, I put some of them on my name on it. Well, I'm trying to show an air level analysis, so that's what we'll oh, be. Okay. Well, we'll show that though, because it will be. Um, so you take this one, I think. I always forget with Flickr. And I'll go upload. I'm just trying to show what a real picture looks like. I don't know if it'll actually read that because it's an album. Oh yeah, it does. This one. So yeah, that's not pasted yeah. in. But if it was pasted in, you'd be able to see. Usually, you would see how the remember how the, before this was all white, uh, like blocks kind of like this her name was posted posted in so you can see that but this one still doesn't look it's because it's been saved multiple times uh do you have any that are in here yeah, is it the ones that are huge. this one right yeah that one i probably haven't done there. okay there's nothing on this one yeah. so we'll go this one oops so grab this copy upload come on work no oh, what is this this one 
So hopefully this will show. I don't know. Kind of iffy, but uh, at least if you go to metadata here, you should get. Oh, you have, we take our metadata out, which makes sense. We're not trying to be scientific. <laughs> Go to, if you're uploading a photo, go to Campy Cloud. Uh huh. And I have unedited just the photos I haven't done anything to in the folders in Campy Cloud. So Campy Cloud and then Missa. You mean journalism picks? No. Campy Cloud. Are you in Campy Cloud? Yeah. And then the Missa folder? Oh, I don't think I have that one. Yeah, you should have it in Campy Cloud. No, I don't. Because these, are, I just, I, I mapped each drive, so I only have these ones. Do we have anything in in pics? I think we do. Uh, let me check here. I might have some moon ones here. Yeah, I do. Ones that you haven't changed. Um. Oh no, these are from people that submitted them. Yeah. So. Sorry, guys. We're uh, trying to show you something. I can't remember. I don't think that was mine either. I'll get them for you. Oh, this one's ours because I can tell it's a DSC. So and if you can tell if it's been changed by the size. If the size 48 something by 4800 by something, gotcha. it's not changed. No file selected. No, oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think these ones are all the real big size. Oh, didn't see it. Let's try one of these. Uh, that's not. Okay, like this one. Yeah, upload file. That one's clearly this one. <laughs> that one's yeah. clearly put under the background. But that's it's probably I didn't I don't know if it's ours or not. You put into the background? No, that's can, mine. See the square? What do you mean? Then I have no idea. That's what I said. So it's like been pasted in there. But I might have done that for some slide or something. Okay, so far you're not doing so good. Not doing so good at showing uh, any real pictures. How about a picture of my family? Okay. I'm just saying, is that what you would want a picture of the moon? No, it could be any any real it. picture that hasn't been edited. Okay. I just don't know where to look. Uh, Here, I'm putting it into public shared photos. Public shared? Yeah, shared photos, pictures, public shared pictures. Okay, public and shared and pictures. And, and what's the name is, of it? The name is. DSC 07361. DSC 07361. DSC 03. 03. 03761. Okay, so this one. And now we're going to upload that file. Come on, load. Do it. It's taking a while. It's a big picture. How big is it? Uh, 5.5 megabytes? That's pretty big. Okay, so this is what a real picture looks like. It's just flush. There's, it's, it's flush. There's no you know, big changes. Um, things okay. that are the same color are generally the same. For instance, this, her hair and her hair are the same. This girl's hair is a little bit lighter, so you see the lighter look. So it's kind of, um, see how the dark part of her hair that matches, and then metadata. Uh, yeah, so this has full metadata. This is what you should get when you look at something that's real, you know, that people, I mean, don't go looking for your friend's metadata and say it's a fake picture because they don't have it on there because most people turn it off. Yeah, sometimes when you turn it off, or when you save it, sometimes it gets deleted too, when you save it over and over again. Right, but if you're NASA or you're Scientific. SpaceX, then I don't understand why you would... Uh, Turn off your okay. This picture here has got to be fake as could be. I'll probably guarantee that. Uh, which is landing ocean? I don't know what this one is. Copy image address. We'll try one more of these. Oops, sorry. And then we'll go look at uh, some more scuba divers. And so we saw what a real picture looked like. And again, I don't know. This could be real for all I know. It's um, but you'll see, you know, kind of what a difference it is uh, that this is, they could either be taking pictures of pictures, which is something I've noticed that they've done lately, because that's the one thing that can get around giving the secrets away. If you were to take a photo of a photo, well, of course, it's not going to really be able to uh, be a determination um, of whether or not it's a real picture. 
It almost looks like see-through right here, though. I can't really tell. And they've got other tools here. You can go here and go, you know, invert colors. Sometimes it'll help you see some stuff. Um, and they've got a pretty cool, if you go to tutorials and then go to um, air level analysis tutorial. And this is what you, you know, read through all this. And then they have like a little test that you go through and it kind of teaches you how to recognize, see, this is kind of what we're talking about, to where they'll make changes and show you. And then there's also like quizzes um, basically asking you to, uh, let's see, where is it, Yale sample? And they kind of teach you. So if you go through all this, then you can really determine whether or not um, images are real. And it's not an exact science, so that's why I don't do a lot of um, videos with it, just saying this is absolutely fake because of this, because it's not exact. But it will show you when things are pretty bad. So we'll go to YouTube and look up a spacewalk. Try and get lucky here. David, give me a number, 1 to 100. David, are you there? David? Did I lose you? David? Um, hold on. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I said pick a number. Um, but we'll just go to one of the... Okay, so here, this one looks pretty... This one looks like a good picture. Oh, guess not. I'll blow this up real quick. See if we can get lucky here. So you uh, will be looking... Um, that looks like a good picture. So whether you got a green light or not. And if you do, we'll probably be asking you to cycle your TV power. Okay. So we'll just watch this for a second and see. Babe, look, we got scuba divers to find. Stop flipping through, please. <laughs> oh, there goes a bubble. Doo, 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 doo. And Nicole, just a couple ahead, things uh, for Al. If we could get the uh, final APFR settings that he. Uh, All right, and when you're comfortable, you can give Mike to go to the back office. We didn't look to see if they had that rolling. The like, remember, we were going to look to see if they had that something that rolls work. over the pool. We'll oh, yeah, like a um, pool cover or something. Okay, Tom, these jackasses. What has he got on his screen over here? Them. <laughs> oh, that's that's an astronaut. Oh. Great copy, Nicole. Thank I you. know that guy. One hour and 37 minutes into today's spacewalk, there's a shot of Steve Bowen still on the end of the station's robotic arm. <laughs> still on the end of the uh, uh, robotic over arm. And, uh, payload bay to uh, install this okay. lightweight adapter. Has anybody plate, seen uh, it? the, I mean, has David seen the footage of the astronaut in his, um, when they go to, he goes to repair a satellite in orbit and he's on his little flotation chair. Has he seen that? Oh, the little power thing? And that is freaking ridiculous. It is, I mean, I don't even know what to say. So right here, he, he has to be, I mean, nobody's even paying attention. How would he be floating? Like without somebody's holding him? Is he on the robotic arm? Is that what they're doing? Maybe I'm not paying attention. Or somebody... And about a meter him. to go, Steve. What are they doing? None of this stuff would ever be necessary. Oh, what do we got here? And again, these are, you know, this is probably a NASA channel. I didn't even check. But they always have the highlights, which they'll never right. show you anything in the highlights. What do you see? Oh, I'll rewind it just a bit. Is there two astronauts out there right now? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay, we copy that, Nicole, and we're checking. He just ran that drill into his hand like this. <laughs> Is it smart, working? Smart okay, move. it's working. <laughs> 
Steve Bowen back to the Look how bad to, the uh, oh, pick baloney up the bag door. With parts that will be needed for the remaining tasks on the spacewalk. Alter and you'll see, like, I always watch around them, and you'll just see this stuff morph in and out. God, they're not leaving. Yeah, this is all the highlights. They don't leave it on there for long enough to see. You don't want to watch the highlights because that's, that's like an easy out for them. They don't have to show anything. And we're checking. I mean, because it's my opinion that there is a scuba diver here also. I want to laugh at dinosaurs. <laughs> Pictures of dinosaurs. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'll go find something that's not a. You can see Steve Bowen maneuvering around the underside of the Quest airlock. right on the other side of the lab from Steve. See, so in my opinion, this is a scuba diver. Because there's just no reason why you would have that with you. Except for that diver is carrying you along. Mm, yes, I because sometimes those bags do weird movements in terms of they get into a crevice and like a scuba diver wouldn't get wouldn't be small enough to get into like those little corners. Yeah, what we'd like to try. See how the bag moves though, like. Well, if someone's moving it, probably I could see, but it's oh, got not you. himself. Not got you, got you. That is no joy. And with the What's going on over here? Maybe a different challenging task. Don't watch oh, the highlight boy. ones. To have Don't Al's, watch the highlights. Uh, hand them a You're lift not going to see anything. Al's mini workstation onto those helmet lights. <laughs> and then we'll just carry them like that. Okay, and uh, Stephen Al, do you copy? I copy. Alvin Jaffe's. Sorry, it looks good. to me like really bad CGI, like, um, not CGI, real bad PNG in computer so graphics. So what was that stick right there? Like, what is... Okay, and, uh, Steven, so is their color, their color against the backdrop is a little different. Okay, and uh, Stephen Al, do you copy? I copy. Alvin Jaffe's. Very good. Hey, Al. Hey. So astronaut, if there's carrying the crop Okay, pot. so watch this. I'm trying to see here. I might see something. Ah, they cut I think it. his helmet came off. No, because watch right here. I guarantee in the real video. See how this thing gets caught? That's what the that's what the uh, the scuba divers are for. So see these cords right here. So right here when he turns, they're going to get caught. Okay, so then they're stuck, and everything else turns. So somebody needs to release that because he's stuck. Well, they, they cut it, but whoever comes removes that impediment impediment. So when it comes around here, you can tell he gets stuck, and that's that's why they have to have these guys, because otherwise they just get stuck all the time. So somebody must come. His helmet comes off right there. Was that his helmet? That looked like his helmet off. The top piece, at least. Like, what is this picture over here, too? That's my question. What's going on over there? But you're right. We got it. We're probably on a NASA channel. No, you're judging Jerry. I'm looking here. Space Shuttle, Columbia, Hubble. Let's suppose that you're writing a really important email to a colleague. No. Not this one? Oh, I was saying no to the commercial. Oh, yeah, just say no to that. Three, yeah, here we go, balloons. Show us the movie of it taking off. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, it looks like the the show that they had, the one where they yeah. fooled the people in yeah. the fake car. In the car. Yeah, somebody had a camera just zoomed in right there too. All very real. Let's find the spacewalk. This one might be another uh, one of the. Oh, what is going on? We uh, got the uh, old solar. Array, oh yeah, this uh, is another uh, highlights. The. Uh, of Look the at that. Of a new solar array. Here's what Hubble That's looks the Earth like now with its new. Yeah, because Africa array. takes up half the Earth. Holy smokes. This is when they fixed Hubble. Bigger was inside, uh, busily. Uh, you know who did every... this one? Enzi, as everybody got up there to you, take You know who the, the um, as we just captain was of that trip? Look at that's, that's, that's Hubble to Space Telescope. We, I don't know. Uh, uh, Charles Bolden. Oh, gag me. He's in space right now. Or then. then. In the thingy. <laughs> Just, uh, I think uh, the Some telescope looked like it was in great shape there. Rick is using the handheld laser again. Handheld laser. I'm trying to find some old EVA. There's a uh, everything I look up. It always is the new stuff. I saved a bunch the other day. Some oldies, the goodies. This one looks good. Dark have antenna, so that's the best translation I've understood. Let's see, bring this one. This one's probably good. Look good. Is it a highlight? Getting out to make their way uh, 
to the next task, having finished securing that old camera. They're carrying reels of cable with them that they're going to use to connect the, uh, first of all, the ROSFET. Sure they are. I was just going to say that. Sure they are. Command and data handling system. First of all, is anybody on this truss? What is this thing bouncing for? Again, to begin that, they'll be moving to the Papa O portion of the Papa O. No, actually, this one. This one is Spes the module. And uh, use both hooks. That's the round ball portion of the module that connects the Spesda to Zarya and Poisk and Piers. So I'm pretty sure that I think that might be the yeah, astronaut actually, be but mating uh, the four ends of the cables and then uh, begin stringing them along handrails and securing them as they go, as they make their mm, way sure to, towards the Rosvet mini, res mini research module. Do you we think just... President Trump will prosecute these women announcers also for treason? Okay, well, he should. Every now and then as they begin making their way out of this view. Um, I think you would. Okay, so here's an example. Watch this. Begin making their way out of this view. Let me show you something that's impossible. This white thing comes around. Okay, now watch it lift the... The, okay, it's like lifting the astronaut up. They begin making their way out of this view. So I think that they use those to kind of. Oh, what's this? UFO. Space debris. That's a diver. Alien. What is that? He lost his bag. He lost his bag. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it actually says tools get loose during the rest of the When you have finished translating, human, look at the connectors. Are the oh man, I mean, look at this. The connectors uh, look properly at, yeah. I guess. Maybe there's another tool. Well, they're doing hey, uh, check, check the chat. I'm not, I'm not on chat right now. Nathan okay. said that nobody can hear you. They can just hear me. Hmm? But me not sure. But you. Um, yes, it seems to be everything is all right. Everything's in place. All right, very good. We copy. And um, there is one connector that's sticking out a little bit, and Misha is going to bring it back into the right configuration. All right, very good, guys. Misha, rotate 180. Rotate 180. Fine. Exactly, that is. There is an object that. There is an object uh, flying off in space. That was weird. Uh, I got to check the chat. Are you? Can you check it? Because I don't know what's going on. I cannot. Oh, sorry. Oops. I probably got in trouble for presenting other people's work. That's my guess. It's NASA's work. No, it wasn't. I was on somebody else's thing. I mean, I can hear everything fine. So all of us are wired fine. to appreciate. Okay, can you hear me now? Anybody? Yeah, I agree with that uh, as far as, yeah. Uh, what happened there? Come on. This thing's not working. Okay, let me try and find one of these. Oops. I put one in the, um, in the public shared videos, one that I downloaded the other day. Is it's it an good? old one. In public shared? Mm -hmm. Public shared. Okay, public shared videos. Mm -hmm. And what's it called? Successful spacewalk or something like that. Successful something like that. Success, successful. Hi, this one? NASA astronaut Mike Good of the so. STS-132 crew. Yeah. And you're watching NASA TV. Good morning, Houston. I'm sick of some gotcha. areas we haven't got yet. We'll wait for your Let me board. make sure my screen okay, shared. Today. Oops. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for working on that for us. Okay. I'm doing bad. This one. This, this is one. a live view in the International Share. Space Station, and specifically okay. the airlock and the uh, equipment lock, where you can see the two spacesuits that will be used this for one. today's EVA. Garrett Reisman will be wearing a solid white suit. That uh, Reisman and Bowen will perform today. Um, that first task, uh, the major task, is uh, removal. Um, has. <laughs> What's That's going blue, on? just like the pool. <laughs> what is that? They're like going out? Yeah. Oh, I get your, uh, 
to wrap all your tether. Uh-huh. The back here. The back. Okay, let's see. Sounds so much like water. I don't know. Too. I don't know how anybody can watch this and think that it's in space. Near do I? That's up above our heads right now. No. There's no way. <clears throat> okay, so right here now, I always watch their feet because somebody has to pull their feet back down. Oh, or they change views. M. Garrett Reisman, uh, first out of the airlock. He'll be wearing. How about this? No markings uh, on it, and uh, next to come out, Steve Bowen. Yep. Those guys are in full sunlight right now. That's why they're lit, right? This is on the this is on the ISS, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, no. So but that's yeah, that that's full sunlight. Oh, I just saw something. We're su- yeah, we're supposed to be able to see that thing that looks like a star. It's brighter than a star. Right. Right. Going by, where's that light coming from? Is is it just this? I mean, you couldn't see that at 500 yards, probably. That's true. Yeah. That's so Put that true. two miles in the sky, you wouldn't even see it. It's not bright enough. No, no. Yeah, and it's 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 insane that people think that that little bright light is the space station <laughs> reflecting sunlight. Oh, it's it so ridiculous! The if most you watch absurd the third thing ever, maybe we'll go watch ISS live after because um, yeah, yeah you can see when it does get dark. There's no way that it it doesn't get bright enough. It just gets dark. Move that thing out of the way. And once we saw that video that showed how they can live edit anything out of a screen, yeah, it, um, you know, we knew it was going to be tough to find. It took us a while, but we, yeah, that the new tech TriStar or something, mm-hmm. the TriStar software, it costs five thousand to ten thousand dollars per or for a. Yeah, the actual setup. software. But they can shrink people. I don't even think that's right as far as how it turns like the whole earth. I don't think that's how what it is really the contraption? works. What are all those contraptions? Yeah, it makes no sense. Okay, so Charlie Bolden, tell me what that little thing right there with the cording in it, tell me what that's for. And then it just changes it to this. And look at the shadows, how fast they're moving now. I don't ever move that fast. See right here, we got something. Gosh, stop bringing that up. What is he doing? He's sleeping, taking a nap. Nap time. And see how this is all choppy, just like David said, because something's going on here. See how there's... Yeah. It's not caused by his feet moving. Somebody's swimming down in this region, so mm-hmm. they've got it all blocked off and blocky. And, and contrast turned on, turned up. And mm-hmm. Like, what's underneath him right there? What's that in the background? Yeah, I don't know. You need to fix the contrast. That's the bottom of the pool, probably. Oh. Now, see, I, I think that somebody would be is is either moving him somehow here. How's the station bobbing up and down too? Oh, because it's in water. <laughs> well, yes. If it was in space, how is it bobbing up and down? I hate these. The drill, the space drills. Yeah, which they're going to show these views all the time because <laughs> this is a view where you would never see the. The scuba diver. They keep changing the color. Like there's purple sunlight and then there's yellow. And then they, and see, then and they can do stuff like this after the fact. That it's just difficult. You have to find the. Look like the different layers going that's on. It's so there. weird. Stop doing that. Hello. Now he's moving his scuba tank. <laughs> <laughs> They're just straight up in your face now. <laughs> okay, your scuba diver. Clip is on move. the back of the diver. <laughs> Let's move along. What's nonsense? Oh. oh. Is that the earth down there? No. Uh. I'm assuming it would be going underneath them, but I don't know. Mm. Stop switching. Oh, there he goes, floating away on his little trust thing. But somebody pulling him? Oh, oh he's the... floating. Look, this, did you see the astronaut's feet sticking out at the bottom? <laughs> I don't think those are feet. Are they're not? Oh. It totally looks like feet. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Look at all this stuff moving. Look at the satellite dish moving. Yeah. Um... You know, it's almost like they have to make it worse and worse and worse as time goes on because then you just can't even. It's like all of the false oh, flags. Oh boy! Just See, I mean, this kind of nonsense. This is because there's people all over this thing carrying it. Mm-hmm. 
That is really bad. That's really it's bad. so ridiculous that we ever fell for this for a day. Is that supposed to be like a, a new pipe that he's carrying? Yeah, we got to install this pipe hey, down in space. Jaren, can you can you put that in photo forensics? Can you put video in photo no. forensics? There's actually no such thing as video forensics. I, I mean, it's impossible to. Well, that's the thing about video. There's you can, not no such thing. Uh, you, People you'd have, have the software to analyze <clears throat> that's forensically true. videos. That's true, but there's no like a metadata. Nothing is recorded inside a video as far as your place that you took it or time or date. No, and there is. No. We've taken video. We 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 set it to the GPS location and it's in the metadata. There is no metadata for video. Look it up. Look up. Is there metadata for video? Okay. I'm going to test you on that one. Test me on that one. Is, is this him way down here? I don't believe you. And you're going to be proven wrong and then you're going to realize why you should never die. That will be the first time ever with you. If I'm proven wrong or right? Uh, if, if I'm proven wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> Truth movement, remember? Metadata for video. Ah! Let it fly. No. Oh. Examining video file metadata. Keep reading. Oh, sorry. I'm reading to myself first. No, making stuff up. I'm going to double check you. This is so, it's so terrible that we believe all these shitty video feeds. Like, they don't have money to buy a good video recorder. So, like, oh, we're in space, though, 250 miles away. How would you ever expect us to get video to you that fast? Because like, yeah, uh, when LA needs to send me some video files, they always come in all choppy. What is going on here? Okay. All right. See, to me, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a, it's like this purple cloud around him here. What's that? I think you should go to the ISS Live. That's what you got to go to. Because that's like, but look at this. Now. Look at this thing's flying away here. I don't see anything yet, except for the shadows doing all kinds of weird stuff. I just want to smash it. Can I just smash the station? I just want to smash it. I know. I'm, oh, now I switched to these again. It's over here. Metadata is particularly useful in video, where information about its contents, such as transcripts of conversations and text descriptions of da 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 Okay, that's different. That's I'm not talking. I'm talking about metadata like that's embedded in pictures, like location, not like script. You have to, oh. you have to put that into like a video file. Okay. Like a, if you have QuickTime or something. But I guess you you probably win this one. You're probably right. There is metadata for video, but there's not like the date or place GPS information. There is. We can set it on our on our camera. We, you did it for me when we were doing our, our experiment. For pictures? For video. Really? I Maybe not. Maybe I don't know I'm where wrong. you would find it. I don't know. There's no EXIF. Like when you right click on the on the file and click info. I don't know. I'm just maybe I'm arguing at an unresearched point, but Well obviously it's unresearched by me. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, we'll go to ISS next. Cause, uh, so if anybody there. wants to, um, if they're at home at night and trying to go to sleep, just turn on the IS any ISS footage. It'll make you fall asleep in half a second. At least I know it would for me. I hate the POV views. Mm. What are we looking at? That's so not... Baloney satellite dish? Ugh. Okay. And, you know, it's funny because I'm watching somebody getting upset that I don't see it. And I have to remember, like, that it's going to be edited really well. I mean, to find yeah, what see, we found has got to be. Exactly. That we have to remember the fact, to find what we found was I mean, an we old actually video. And it was an anomaly. pointing out the complete and total trillion dollar fraud. So yeah. if we find it, it should be and then shocking. And the other one, the one that we found today. So we have two. So that's huge. Yeah, the yellow space tank is too much. And this might be what they started to do. Do you think that now they decided to move these guys on these electric motors so you didn't need scuba divers? Maybe. 
because you know if they're moving on this arm, then you're connected here, so you wouldn't need yeah. They help. would have to. They would have to eliminate scuba divers at some point. Because it's really this when you watch the oh we should do that 360 view. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Um, when you watch what those guys' job is, and this is what was so weird about what Flat Earth Math said, is when I was talking to him about the pool and the divers, he said, "Oh, they're there for safety." And I said, "No, they're not. They're constantly handing tools and." Uh, bags and moving cords and they're not there for safety and then he said yeah okay well if they're doing that then the next time they do it um they won't be there and i said nope that's not true i've never seen one pool scene without them there so clearly they are again if you're doing it at night in the dark then you would do it in the pool in the dark you wouldn't do it in a bright pool what is that thing over there hey you oh. know what flat earth math charles nicest guy in the world absolutely um, he is all over you know my comments, you know, commenting all over my videos. He's always got something to say. Where are you now? I'd really like to talk to you about this. So reach out, do a Jaron, you should do a hangout with him. That would be uh amazing. Maybe he'll flip or flip out. I if you'd be the first, I haven't I haven't met anybody yet that's um you know been outspoken about it and had the uh um, I don't know, audacity to actually admit that they were wrong about it. I haven't had anybody like that. I've had a lot of emails from people who said they thought I was hilarious and that I was full of shit and watched a few videos and then went through a week of depression and then emailed me to tell me that. But uh, they hadn't come out in videos and actually spoken out against it. They had just said it in their mind. Or <laughs> yeah, so I want to, you know, it'd be great to actually find somebody who, a UFO, call SEAL Team 10, or Secure Team 10. You hear that sound? It's just so much like water. Okay, hey, Swanee. Uh, in that color right there, that's the color that it looks like in, in the pool, when you're huh? practicing in the pool. It's so ridiculous that you would do any of this. Yeah, this is flying above the earth. Total joke. Oh, was okay, swimming? I mean, think they say that the ISS is as big as a football field. Three football fields. There's the sun. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Hey guys, I got a split. Jaron? I'm here. Oh, I got to go. Oh, okay. It was Thanks a pleasure. for joining me. As always. All right, man. Take it easy. See yeah, probably because I'm going to go look at uh, ISS Live here for one second. But uh, yeah, so I, I think people are going to find some stuff, though. I really do. You just need to know where to look, so you just need to show them like places to go look at stuff. Yeah, just old spacewalks. If anybody knows anybody who has old VHSs, like um, or recorded them live, Did that's the hardest thing. Did you drop the, the link to the NASA mm -hmm. archive page? Okay. Oh, yeah, they got all that for the uh, all those videos. What is this? What is that? He's gonna screw this thing in here. Oh, but it's like a, a wrench with the. R2-D2. <laughs> this is supposed to be the shuttle. Hmm. I can't believe anybody believes this. I really cannot. Can you? No. Me neither. Let's go to uh, ISS Live real quick. ISS. I have your stream. You want to bet blue screen or no blue screen? Right you, now, bet. There. you bet. I'll bet blue screen. All right. Right, we'll get there. You're going blue screen. Uh, or black screen? That's a nobody win. That's a cat's That's game. That's a Nolan Void? Cat's game. What are people saying in the chat there in the eyes? Like, and if they evolved on a high gravity world. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what they're talking about. Nothing. 
nothing exciting. One time I was in the chat and I signed, I created a fake person and I was in there like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. What's happening? What's, where's the sun? What, where's the, they're like, you don't want to be here. You want to go to the HD live footage because it's a lot prettier. I'm like, oh, but is this the same as the <laughs> HD? Like, no, that one's a clearer view. I'm like, real? Is it real? And they're like, no, it is, but it's different. <laughs> my favorite is this purple planet. That's my favorite. <laughs> what is going on? Fix your cameras. You have plenty of money. Unbelievable. Losers. Let's look at the sun. That's always fun. That looks really fake. Yeah, this is the one thing that we got to check on next. I, I, I think it's done with either green screening or... I think so, too. This is the worst I've seen, though, because it really looks like he's just... Oh, blue screen, you won. <laughs> okay, this is, this is a great example here. Is it going up or down? Okay, I guess. What was that? How would it? Yeah, I mean, where where does sunrise happen like that? It just in doesn't. Space. In space. I mean, this this whole portion of the Earth would be lit. Oh, and I always see the sun do that too. And flash. Now, see right here. This is a perfect example. Flat Earth math. Whoever's out there, this is when the sh the whole entire ship needs to be lit up. This is why we can see it right before sunrise or after sunset, mm -hmm. but it's not lit. How is the sun not hitting the craft? Oops, sorry. I should go bigger. What's happened? That's not what I want to do. This one. Play. So bad. And why does the sun even look like that? Yeah, we never see it look like that. And see, like this is all dark still. Mm -hmm. How would it be dark? The sun's way up high. And it's 93 million miles away, so it's not going to. It's not like we're up high, so we can see the okay. sun, but the Earth below us can't. We're only right. 250 miles high. Why would it look like this? I don't know. It always does, too. It's ridiculous. Water. Oh. <laughs> Pretty ugly. So what, what do you think? Is this real or not? Is it high altitude footage? I think it's high altitude footage that's GoPro put into, put it as the backdrop of this still model saying yeah. going on here. Yeah, I think if you think about it, um, think about how light is seen in a circle. Mm -hmm. Like the sun is, you see a visible circle. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe it'd be best to show that on that 360 thing. We'll do that yeah. and then we'll close it out. Mm -hmm. uh, let me show you something real quick here and then we'll be done. We're going to go to a uh, 360. Um, let's do NASA pool first. Probably get in trouble for doing these, but uh, well. So these are the 360 uh, virtual realities. NASA astronaut training. And we're going to go through this one real quick. NASA VR 360. We'll just go through it like a quick Welcome function. The neutral but this lab. here, if you've never Johnson done this before, do it. It's fun. You could look all over. There's the this Vitruvian the man with the little guy there. The Here's where they fake everything. The Edit him out. Edit him out. Edit him out. Edit him out. Because you really need that team to train people in the pool. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in. Come, dive in. This little pool for. So as we go down here, you'll see that if we watch an astronaut, we'll find one. There's one over there. there Assisted go. by a team of support staff. So this is what I think is happening in space. To the ISS. We just don't see them. They're wearing all black. They're edited out. But you basically need to be carried around 
and occasionally you'll see a flipper or something that doesn't get edited but that's what is going on the whole time they're carrying the astronauts around again you wouldn't the repair and maintenance of crucial quiet. equipment you wouldn't train somebody for a spacewalk where their life is on the line by carrying them around because then they go to space and if their cord gets caught or something then they die so you wouldn't this isn't how you would train people at all and see how this guy's got to drive and carry or he's got to swim and carry the cords and that's what they're always doing. And you'll see here, like, things morph. See how this thing is, like, invisible? Mm -hmm. And so, anyway. You know what Area 51 could be? It could be... Underground Underground tank? exact replica of the ISS, and it's in a pool. And that's where they do all their secret, you know, government spacewalks, so to speak. See, so when we see astronauts doing work, this is what the scuba divers are doing. They're making sure your cords don't get caught up. They're making sure that you're not floating out of line. They help you go up these poles. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is definitely what they're doing. And that's now it's easy to see once I've realized that, um, see how there's, there's guys are always with them. And somebody said that the guys I was pointing out were way too small. But these guys are way smaller than the people in the suits. Also, you see how these cords are always moving in a pool? Mm -hmm. This wouldn't happen in space. But it happens in a pool, and that's what we see when we watch the actual footage. Good, yeah. Are we going up? What's going on? So, see, this guy's lifting us up, and we're out here. All right, we'll do you one like more. Like how it, it it pans out of the pool and then shows the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we really get it practice, don't you? And then there's uh, where's the 360? Well, when I thought it was already watched, should say watched. Here we go. And I'll show you what I mean by circle of uh, light here. Let's get going on this one. This thing makes me want to get a virtual headset. I'm sad. We got problems. Yeah. Then you start getting. In, then you start becoming like the the online gamer keyboard warriors, and we can't get that far. This so, is so cool. Yeah, I this want is to really cool. Oh, if we ever do a. So these people did a balloon launch with a 360 view. So you can watch so your balloon. Cool. With that little gauge thing that's floating in front of it, I love that. So I'm going to skip ahead so I don't get in trouble. Quiet down, lady. Maybe have it, remember, stay on pause. That's how you can do it. Yep. Okay, so when you get up high here, they're getting up, uh, let's get up a little further. Okay, so when you get up this high, you can kind of see there's the sun. And you can now get the idea of why we see a curve. Okay, it's because, what's going on? Is it playing? Oh, it is playing. I don't play. Pause. Okay, so the reason we see a curve, like when you look down, is because you are seeing the sun's circle of light. Yeah. So the earth keeps going, but the sun stops. Mm -hmm. So people think that they are seeing a curve, like a ball. You're just seeing as far as the light reaches. You're just seeing as far as the, as the light goes. So this is the sun's mm -hmm. circle of light. And that's all you're seeing. So the sun's light ends here. means we can't see. In fact, I think we might have even just proven it. Let me see something. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. I'm just that's looking at the difference. very good. Good hypothesis. Hypothesize? Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. See how the sun's right here? Watch how I turn and it'll yeah. be right here. It doesn't look like I turn enough. I guess I do. Yeah, I remember they're piecing together like four camera footages. Yes, I guess it'd be hard to tell like if you can see further this way than you can this way. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense. That, yeah, um, it does. That is definitely a possibility, if not like at least the best explanation. Yeah, and people think um, Whoa, are they, they going say back down? you can't see. I went back in time, yeah. Oh, yeah. They say you can't see the um, the curve when you're not high enough. Well, it's because you can't see the end of the sun's light. So or that's what you see is you can't see past the end of the sun's light, right? Right. But yeah. when you get above it, you can actually see it end and curve. You can see the mm -hmm. circle of light. But you can't see past that. Right. But that's here you can't see. see the curve because you can't even, you're not on top of the sun's light looking down, seeing the circle of light. And there is no curve. So no, <laughs> but I'm saying the curve that you see of the, you mean the, the circle around light. you, like the circle of, Mm -hmm. I like that you called it the circle of light. That was good. Yeah, this you can still see it. It goes to right here, but mm -hmm. you're not on top of it. 
Oh, are those crispicular rays coming through right there? Or is mm. that like a hole in the clouds? I don't play that real quick. I can't tell. Maybe. Whoa. Is that a rendering situation? That's a lunar wave. It's a lunar wave. <laughs> <laughs> High altitude wave. High altitude lunar wave. So yeah, that'd be really cool to get one of those and uh, do that. I love this little gauge too. Yeah. Very cool. So anyway, and uh, maybe I should show one more time. Should end the, um, with the scuba tank? We'll just end with to, the scuba tank. That sounds like a good idea. I think we can find it on here. Wasn't it just um, Apollo 16 raw? That'd be interesting because we didn't, that's not where we found it, but that'd be cool if it was actually. This one? I don't know if anybody remembers Singled Out. Remember that? Singled Out. That sounds that's, familiar. I'm dating myself. Uh, that guy, Chris Hartwig, used to be the host of some show oh. on MTV years ago. Okay, and let's see here. Where was our person at? Oh, right here. Well, you did. It was on there. Oh. All right, we'll end it with the space tank in space. Or the scuba tank in space. Yeah. <laughs> A little further here. Is it further back than this, or I don't remember. Now. Okay, right there. Also, if you watch, I wish I could zoom in. I really can't. There goes a bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Mm -hmm. And if you kind of watch under here. Yeah, that's where it is. Let me rewind this part. Show oh, yeah, you. Rewind it, yeah. Okay, so watch with me. Hopefully, you're getting a good picture here. We're going to be looking right here, and you're going to see the scuba diver. To me, it's clear. Let me see. Make, sure you're, make sure you're sharing, actually. 803. Probably. Oh, you don't see it? Oh, I just make sure because it cuts you out sometimes, remember? Oh, look at all those bubbles. Jeez. Okay, so watch underneath. And we can see his arm. We see his other arm. Mm -hmm. So this spot here is clear. Keep watching. We see his arm, his other arm. We're going to be watching right in here. I'll move my mouse when I see it. And you'll see that the uh, diver is going to reach in and assist. Watch his arm. Okay, so now he pulls up. Yes, it's going to be right here, actually. And you'll actually see the diver's hand. Keep right right there. And you're going to see him reach in here. There it is. See this? Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Now look at that. That's, see this all going on right here? That's the diver. Wasn't anything, and then he just saw it go that way. Another bubble. Okay, let's go to the um, yellow tank. Mm -hmm. Now here I might have to get pulled back down. So it's the same thing that we just saw in the practice pool, that there's people on him, you know, positive of that now. So it's just trying to spot him. If anybody has any video editing skills, it's got like, a, my video editor doesn't do a very good job of um, changing the colors or... Contrast or... Right. It's just the way all these break up is so bad. I'm not speaking. Oh, another bubble. Mm -hmm. Lots of bubbles. Or space debris. There's another space debris. Or alien. Yeah. Hmm. That rope there seems like it's being held up there. Like and what happened there? Why is this rope like that? <clears throat> I thought that was this rope. What the hell is that? Oh, the bubble? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Somebody help him. Oh, so we already went past it? Yeah, we're way past it. Where is it? Right here? There it was. Okay, so watch this. Okay, so we're watching right over here. Mm-hmm. Like a slow-mo or just regular speed? I'm just going to pause it this time as soon as I see it. Mm-hmm. That's after that. 
don't know if he just flung that panel know, like into like space or something. Threw it. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> but here comes the diver here. You even saw like a light change underneath mm -hmm. him. That was the first time you see and then the full tank comes in. Okay, there you go. There you I mean, there's there's nothing else you should need to realize. There's nothing yellow in space that goes and then dis. Oh, you even saw him swim down here. Mm -hmm. The first time I've seen that. Let me go back one to check. So, oops, I go back far enough. Oops, there he goes. No, wait. Oh. Bubble. Okay, so watch. He's going to appear here, and then he kind of swims this way and goes back. The oops. That was good. I think it was at the time I remember was like 920. Nine? Is that far? No, it's right here. Oh. Maybe it is 924. Oh, there's a panel. I think he actually, the diver, took it off. Now watch, you're going to see him coming through here. In like 10 seconds. You're right, 924. So here he is. you just saw him there. He goes there, there and then he's going to come back this Perfect. way. That's it. That was him. So anyway, NASA's lying to you. And uh, if you don't believe me, well, then that's Go look up for to yourself. You. Don't believe us. Go and check it out for yourself. Yeah, don't believe me. I don't mind. Um, I'll get by. But uh, the more of us that know, the more of us that can show up there and uh, bring the walls of the building down. I you just got to march around it a couple of times like Jericho and then they'll fall. It's just, yeah. It's just, that VAB building, I want to see that thing come down. You know, the one that says that it's got its own weather system? Its own climate. <laughs> it's got its own climate and clouds sometimes form. It's like, uh, no, that's it's mold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, guys, uh, anyway, guys we're look gonna into this stuff. Go and. Uh, the more you look into it, the more you see that geez. it is not real. I mean, it is not what they tell you. That's for damn sure. Yeah. And easily, it's just all this footage is just great. It's really I mean, this fake. Is, this is flying away from the moon again. It's just funny. Look at look at this Terminator line here. What is that? What's going on with the Terminator line? Look at this moon. And then all of a sudden, it will just disappear. It's like, oops, we have the wrong. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Fix it. It's really a bunch of nonsense. And let's watch this to leave here. Here we go. Does this one have sound? Let's see something. No, this whole video does. I forgot that. But yeah, also, if you find the videos of them driving around on this thing, just listen to the guy's voices. They don't, you know, if you're bouncing up and down, you're going to hear this kind of thing, and you won't hear that. Where was the part? Uh, one of the things I was going to show, remember the uh, the lawn chair? I don't know where that was. I guess it wasn't at the end of this That's one. a different video. What is this thing? I think it was a different video. I don't think it's on here. Is that check? Is that check? Wait, that's weird. So there's either scuba divers in space, or they're in a pool, or there's aliens. So we got three things that they're not telling us is happening. I'm going to go with aliens. I like it better. It's more fun. Oh, God. What oh, something disappeared there. What, what was that? Yeah, it was like a yellow see. thing, and then it's gone. Is that supposed to be the, the limb? I don't know, but it disappears here in a second. Is the limb, is the car bigger than the limb? Oh, it's because they drive away from it, I guess. Well... Oh. Thank God we got this satellite dish on here. Everything's taken care of now. Mm -hmm. Got a satellite dish. Somebody I saw, I don't know whose video it is, but somebody uh, put this, they know exactly what car this is. It's a certain kind of Jeep from like the 70s or 60s that they match it up with the Jeep oh. stripped. It's like identical. Oh, funny. It's probably a Ford, a Ford car or whatever. <laughs> It's like a, I think it's just Jeep brand. I don't know what kind. Don't remember whose video it was. And we'll leave you with the one more thing here. Where's that light? Yeah, what is that? It's right before that. Right there. Yeah, we'll leave you with that. Oh, right there. Anybody know what that is? Neither do I. Ooh, and a good a good tip. Um, I noticed if you look up, you know, um, 
uh, NASA footage of proof of UFOs or UFO spotted in NASA footage. Well, if you watch those videos and look at what people are pointing out as UFOs, oh, it's funny because it's like they'll point out things like this. Like that's a UFO. But if you look at it with different eyes, it's um, you probably will start seeing possibly it's yeah, I think not it's UFOs. It's just errors in their editing, trying to edit out the... Uh, Either scuba mess. divers or their spotlights or their whatever you want to call them. Things that are not. And again, I think moral of the story is um, remember this, this is a deception. That's yeah. I think the hardest thing for people is nothing's going to be easy. It's not going to come easy. It's going to be. It's because it's a deception. Right. So the you know, the footage just, is meant to deceive you. So it's not going to be easy to say, hey, look. Yeah, you're That's not going to go to Wikipedia and ask uh, why are there scuba divers in space and then them tell you, oh, you caught us. Yeah. You're right. There is scuba divers up there. Not going to happen. So uh, everybody just keep digging and uh, maybe NASA will be gone maybe within a year. Yeah, maybe. If I say give them five stuff. years. <laughs> I'm not like giving them Tom five Papa years. Says. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that joke? That was funny. That was funny. Was it about NASA? It was about NASA. It was funny. I remember that. He's like, he's like NASA. No, you know they haven't really done much, and I'm gonna give them five years. If they can't do anything, <laughs> they're out. Five years, we should shut them down. Like, they uh, are planning on leaving our motherfucking ass right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That's Cat Williams. I know. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for, for joining watching, us. Guys. We love you. Keep and, your uh, minds eye open. Don't let them fool you. In case you didn't know, I'm doing this all for money. Everything that I'm doing is for the riches. Mm -hmm. The riches that come with saying the earth is flat. <laughs> yeah. Come eat ramen with us for yeah. dinner. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. Till next time, guys. Peace. As we tried to see what that was, but then it disappears. But, anyways. but uh, I think they're just big fans of uh, layering. And this and is what would happen in water if you don't have scuba divers with you. There's another bubble. You need somebody to take care of your feet. Push, push you down. Yeah. Okay, so now watch here. Yep, there we go. Oh, get that. Nice catch. <laughs> and you'll see here in a second where it's just all wrong because look where his shadow is now. Okay, but then watch the shadow for. Okay, so see how there's no shadow here for him. Yeah. So the, the, there cannot be the sun can't be above you, or else this, there'd be a shadow there. He was right next to it, but yet this cord here showing a shadow on his back and his leg no right shadow? here yeah, that's weird. will show a shadow on his back so definitely his leg weird. but I would obviously see this right here is a shadow from his leg yeah. so if he's what was what, what was it just long. just went over his butt can you go back 10 seconds yeah I saw something too like what does he even do with this? Do they bring this in is that what he went out there for to get something I mean mm -hmm. think about that you're you're going to space what could possibly go wrong that you would need to go outside for? Like, what would be it, it, so ridiculous? You would never make something. anything. He opened something to take it out. Too. Yeah, you would never make something like that. It's just not the way tire. you would. <laughs> I needed that spare tire for landing. Oh, did you see that? I, I think that's what he was talking about. I don't remember. This part here? Oh, I don't know. David, what, what did you see? No, there was something that went right over his butt before. Maybe it's coming up. Maybe right like here. a big black stripe. Mm. Or maybe it's the shadow of that the 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 pipe. Maybe that's all I saw. Oh, like this. See, I mean, the the shadow. Yeah, yeah that right there. Inside. Yeah. 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 What is he doing? That looked like a, a scuba diver's arm or something that went up there. And, yeah. and what would be here that's black on his shoe? What's what's causing that shadow? Nope, oh, he fell asleep. <laughs> He's stuck. He's stuck. Is somebody going to help him? Looks like a pregnant lady's belly right there at the very bottom left corner. Look at those pants. Look, what are those pants that he's wearing? It just They're makes so no funny. sense at all. Like, They're like white. I mean, I would, hammer that, pants. It's like a cool, like, really warm snowboarding outfit. <laughs> or like what toddlers wear with their diaper butts. <laughs> it does. Do it. What is he doing? What, what would he what <laughs> Did you, can you make some room for me? I'm David trying to gets, come back in. It gets really, really strenuous up there. You have to take a break every four minutes. He's just sticking his head in the hole like... 
Can I come back this in or what? He's like, hey, t- send, hand me the number four wrench, please. <laughs> I have to tighten the Hoosie Watts. Yeah. We didn't have a what? number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Where are the shadows of his legs? Um, I don't even know what's going on. And what's causing that shadow on oh. him? Yeah. That's what makes sense. Yeah, mean... true. What is that? Oh, oh, he's going back out. Oh, there... Does he have glasses on? This is a oh. take two. Did they... oh, that was take one. That was it. No, take two. Oh, what is that? That's like something they, some screen they look at. Um, yes, yeah, so I have more film that we can show, but oh boy. Do you see that? What is that supposed to... What is that? That's the craft that the... Uh, I've never seen that craft. The lunar before. module would connects with. You mean the thing that has like a microphone? Oh, so this is belt? the part we were watching, the takeoff, because... Let's see if we get back far enough. Oh, this is what we were trying to find him. Bro. Yeah, because when it takes off, if you know, have you seen the LRO footage, David, that shows supposedly the paths on the moon and shows where the lander was? Mm. Have you seen that? Uh, maybe. It's just a while yeah, ago. People, people use it as, you know, oh, this is proof. But when this thing takes off, which it's on the ground here and it's about to take off, uh, there's no paths. So if there was a path that the LRO show, shows now, well, it wasn't there when they left. So. Mm. Doesn't make any sense. Is, Go. That a, is that a mountain right there down there? That little white like, pokey thing? Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh. Looks like a hurdle or something. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so it takes <laughs> off. And then... Uh, oh, that's so impressive. Yeah, that's real. That's absolutely real. Oh, Whoa. change direction. So see right here, this is where you can see their little lander thing. But there's oh, yeah. no there's no path here. I don't really see now, any, they, you mean like the wheel track? Yeah, if you go look at the LRO footage, which is like supposedly the or orbiter. Images, yeah. yeah, it's got like a bunch of it's, paths coming out of here, going to like different areas. And, <laughs> and they're but not they're there not now. there when they took off. So mm. I guess 16, they showed right? up after. You, you have to be about 130,000 miles away to see them. Yeah. <laughs> and they can't get close. Away. They can show, uh, they'll get within like five feet of some asteroid. But uh, the moon, no, we're going to have to show you Hubble telescope pictures from forever Closet away. scanned satellite imagery. In the non-visible spectrum. Oh, yeah, what is that? Wait, see, I've never seen that before. What this is, is that? the this is the craft that they fly there in. They just stuck a microphone. There's people on top in here. There's a microphone up on top of it. There's people in there. <laughs> There's people in there. It's ridiculous. Just spinning around. What are those like fixtures on the outside? I mean, yeah, was- look at that. It's like a garden hose knob and. Uh, is one of them yellow? <laughs> right. Better be. Better be. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I can't stand the gold foil. That's like, I have nightmares of gold foil. Oh, I wonder if no, the volume doesn't work on this. There's no sound. Um, the great thing is, too, I have another video of showing them driving around with this thing. And this thing is going, look at it, how bumpy it is. And the guy's talking completely normal. Yep, I'm over here driving along and doing just fine. Over there, I see a mountain. It's, like, it's, like it's only one six gravity, Jaren. He's not bumping around that hard. What's That's the camera true. doing? <laughs> Explain that one. Well, I saw some stars up there. Sure you did. did. It's true. I believe it. This is like oh. so convincing for me. It's so funny too because all the mountains and all the hills that they say that the moon has, mm-hmm. yet there's never mountains or hills, just In little ones. So where's the distant one? The sun is shining is, right is there. All, is all the moon footage at like, you know, six frames per second or something? I mean, mm-hmm. is it? It's the worst. Yeah, bad. I, I have some pretty good it. ones. Should we show that one where the guy does the? He gets all pissed off and talks to the guy he off kicks stage. Kicks over the science project. Oh, that if we only off. gave them an extra five million dollars a day, they'd probably be able to get higher resolution cameras. I agree. Let's, yeah, fifty-five million is about right. I think that's um, what they should get. Let's put in a petition to give them more money. Yeah, let's do that. They always complain that they don't have enough. Well, they don't. It's clear. Give me one second. We're going to bring up. Uh, some other NASA footage here. He just comes in and like tramples over the thing the guy spent like an hour on, and then he tries to push it in for him. Yeah, I've got some good. It's funny stuff. That site, I'll give, the, I'll drop the link there because um, yeah, you got to go there just for yeah, fun and people games. People can just like, I mean, just spend a whole night in there. It'd be fun. Be loser like us. Yeah, <laughs> or this is great. I'll show you these couple pictures real quick. So there's some guy that's supposedly going to be the first man in space, uh, first civilian. He's like an artist or something. And I saw these pictures of him, and it's like, this guy floating in space, getting ready for his training. And I said, yeah, he's floating in space because there's some guy in a blue uniform holding him up. What the hell is that? Practice. 
<laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. I'm like, why are they showing that? Do they think people are not going to see that? There's another one. It's like, here's me floating in space. I mean, being held up by. So do you think that they use like these guys in, uh, you know, blue suits well, or green suits, whatever you want moves. in the, in the, in the zero, in this, in the ISS footage? Maybe. I mean, they must. Why else would you do? Why else would anybody have a blue suit like that? What, what would be the, po what could possibly be the reason that you would, if you're going to, if you're training somebody to go to space, then they can be in jeans. What the hell difference does it make? Why would you put them in a blue suit unless you're blue screening them out of there? Or something. It's ridiculous. I mean, when you really think about it, none of this, none of it makes sense. The whole pool training with, with, these scuba but divers it makes, makes no sense, sense if you if you know that they're faking it all. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. Did you see this, uh, David? Oh, yeah. Did David see that? Look at this picture. Uh, this is a uh, flat Earth map on the back there. That's at Goddard Space Center, or it was at Goddard. I'm sure it's not there anymore. Clark. It, they said it was Clark. Um, and that's uh, Nixon, who was yeah. in uh, the office for all the Apollo missions. Yep. Yeah, I found that. That was pretty, pretty cool. Which fact. is weird about that because uh, Joe Rogan went off the other day. I heard him going off about how crooked Nixon was. <laughs> what a crook! We they, they need to look into everything that man did during that. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, moon landings. And Hello, oh, nice. <laughs> Wake up. Dude. All right. Live? We're live. What's going on, everyone? It's Jaronism back again with a live video for you, and joining me, uh, the sexiest thing that ever walked the planet. David Weiss. Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hope I got that mixed you. up. Missa, oh, how are you? Good. <laughs> and we also oh, so you have, meant me? You didn't mean David. I meant you. You're number one. David's number two. Oh, number two. Okay. David, say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so that's uh, all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> good. Well, um, first off, the show is actually brought to you by we have a sponsor today. And that sponsor is Flat Earth Brewing Company. <laughs> they got this little poster here. It says, my beer always stays, sorry, my beer always seems to find its level. And then at the bottom, if you can see that, it says, but that's none of my business, though. Are you sharing your screen? I believe so. Okay. And if you look here, something Missa just pointed out to me that I can't see, that I didn't see before. Do you see that, David, the uh, Flat Earth map there? Yep. Pretty cool, huh? So, so that's a real brewing company. Hey, real brewing oh, that's, company. do you see the, the Flat Earth map in the bubbles? Yeah, that's what I didn't see before. Oh, okay. But now I do see it. So that's pretty balmy. Is that the real accurate map? Is that the map we've all been looking for? That is it. They they've had it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we just needed to drink more beer. There we go. So anyway, we are going to be looking at uh some Apollo sixteen footage. If I can get it to come up here in a second. Um, because I know a lot of people have uh, made comments about the Finding that now is that on the screen? You can see that everybody's good, David. Yep. You can see what we're looking at, okay? Um, yes, yes. So, Miss and I were watching some Apollo 16 footage, which we're going to be watching now. And in it, there is a spacewalk, I believe, when they're coming home. And there's clearly another scuba diver, so we want to point that out. But we'll just kind of skip through this because we've already watched it and it is hilarious. Or if it's not a scuba diver, you can tell us what is yellow and floating in space <laughs> right next to him. So you see here we got the, uh, I mean, this is science, folks. Don't ever forget it. I don't know why you doubt it. It's kind of rude. I, I don't know. Is this real NASA footage that you're showing us here? Oh, this website. is actually NASA's footage. They have that archive at their, on their site that we just pull from. And this is the raw those, footage. It, it looked like... Uh, it looked like somebody was on the front of that thing, like uh, Sasha really? Baron Cohen coming at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Missa keeps saying, you know, there's people in there. You got people in there. There's some people in there. And here's that's the wire, stupid. you know, that's needed. Flowing in the wind. All right, come on. Wait, hold on a second. What's the source of this video? This, this is not real NASA footage. Oh, it this is. is Apollo 16 raw footage. <laughs> Maybe you need to drop the link to that archive page on their website. And here it comes. Watch out. Whoop. Lock it in. But you have to speed up a little bit because they're a little too far there away. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're, we're locked in. Everything's fine. Now, this is them uh, driving away from the moon. Oh my God. And it is funny. We saw several things in here that are hilarious. I'll see if I can pause it in time. Okay, first of all, that thing. That's we'll alien. Let's go back <laughs> and look at that. And I mean, this is the saddest part about this all is that 
this is this is science. If it wasn't for this, I would have a hard time giving science a bad name. But when you have evolution to start with, and this is number two, <laughs> the moon landing. I mean, this is a person like in you know in a room or something. Who knows? Looks like a reflection. But uh, what they show here, this is clearly a fake moon. And in a second, they'll have to morph into like a telescope view, so you'll totally see the change. It's pretty. So it's good. this is. This is filmed through the window from that capsule we just saw. Yes. Mm -hmm. And look, look how they're like able to scan the whole moon. Oh, mm -hmm. watch out. Mm -hmm. They hit something. Okay. All right. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Now in a second here, you can totally see a light. Um, a spotlight on the spotlight. You know those lighting photos up the moon. that we've seen of them. Uh, they were painting that big giant moon. In mm -hmm. some warehouse. Which is really needed. Yeah. You know, somebody brought up a good point about the uh, scuba divers, too. If you do spacewalks at in the dark, then why wouldn't you practice in the pool in the dark? Mm. Well, the reason why... There it is. There you go. That's just a spotlight lighting up the moon, I guess. I don't know what the hell else that could possibly be. It's just a spotlight. That could be a reflection from the light in... So you see that white flappy thing? Okay, so he's got thing. that white flappy thing. He pulls it over. And then... And you can actually see that there, there's the hand again. Oh, they let it go. Now here comes the uh, scuba tank. There. Another bubble. You'll probably want to rewind in slow mode. Okay. That is oh, a there it is. <laughs> diver. The, it. You can actually see That's them it. swim out of the oh, picture yeah. and back into the picture. There's nothing else yellow that he took out there with him. Nope. So what would be yellow that what appears be... out in the middle of space? I have an answer. Okay, good. Go ahead. The sun? Man <laughs> isn't quite ready for space travel, but the extraterrestrials, the aliens, want to encourage us, so they are out there assisting um, so we don't That's die. Yeah, That's and one. they're wearing scuba tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. They they can they can breathe and go back in space, and pause but... it right on it to where you can see even those like the black stripes on it. Okay, maybe a little further. There, maybe. Yeah. Did yeah, you, and you just it, found it, this today? Yeah, we just were watching it. I mean, we were actually is... we weren't even watching it for this. We were watching the the LEM takeoff or whatever. We we're trying to find something else, right? And this just came on hey. automatically after. Jaron, lock your screen on to screen sharing, so when I talk, it doesn't pop over. What's oh, that happening? Yeah, you have to click on click on uh, share or, or, or on your screen, and then it'll share. Okay. You now everybody hates me. Present to everyone. <laughs> Why? They already hated you. No, you have the most love. Okay. And then just have now a is pause it on there when you find when you see it. I, I don't know. I'll check it out. They probably didn't see it every time that we pointed it out. Yeah. So just pause it when you see it. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully everybody can see that, but uh, it's a little maybe slow mo it first, and then try and pause it. I don't think I have slow mo in here. Oh my god! Can't believe it. We'll watch it again. It... Go ahead. Now, where did you get this video from? NASA's website. Yeah, they have a a site that's got all the films of all the moon landings. It's like a whole long. It's a white page with all these links. Okay, so there you can see the tank start to appear. There's the diver there coming up. Is. Oh my god! Now the, he doesn't have anything. He didn't take anything yellow out with him. He nope. didn't take anything with him. Nope. So th it's there's not even another choice. Mm -mm. And, Don't you um, think NASA would be smart enough to have black tanks? Right? Yeah, I would think so. They right? don't. Um, Maybe now they do because no? this is an old video. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, because you know they have to and improve. There's another as bubble. They go. And everyone that's watching, I encourage you to go to any spacewalk. Try, oh, geez, that was a mess. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Um, any spacewalk, you know, any day. I mean, I wouldn't. I would try and go as old as you can, but uh, there's bubbles coming up everywhere. Yeah. Um, and just watch it, knowing that you watch it with new eyes. Watch it with new eyes. It. It, it's so obvious, and then there's so much wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you when he comes back here. That uh, the shadows are wrong. Um, just saw another thing out here, but I don't know what that was. But you can even see, and David even brought this. There's another bubble. David even brought this up that it's purposely degraded the, the video and just like the one that i did the video on yesterday it's it's crummy quality on purpose so that you don't notice the morphing in and out of the bag or the changing of its color you can just say oh it's pixel changing right, right over it because they're never like, like the, 
Yeah. Like the moon landings, the the reporters at uh, NASA's headquarters, wherever that place is called, they were they were using a rear projection screen of the video, and then they had to film the actual screen. You can't get any more degraded than that. Right. Man, there's just bubbles everywhere. I don't know how nobody's ever seen this. Did he start doing his push-ups yet over there? No. Doesn't he do something? Doesn't his shadow get weird here? I forgot where oh, that when was. When he comes back over. When he does like his No, this whole part I thought that. turned like black or something. Oh, I don't remember. I love the other astronaut. He's like peeking. Yeah, what is he doing? I'll watch you from here. In case you fly off into space. Doesn't this look like he doesn't so, have a backpack on? He only, he has like a, a third size backpack. Mini backpack? Oh, we wanted to show that one part with the right there where he, I saw that helmet come into view. Oh, that was weird. But it's it could have been this thing. Back, a little bit back. And we're going to go a little bit back and show you this there. Yeah, I think so. Right yeah. there. So I'm not sure what this. It's like a layer of some sort. Helmet thing in the cabin on the glass that they're looking through. Right, but mm -hmm. it's it, and it just so happens not to be moving with. Yeah, it's over the, there again. The, this, this <laughs> now they flip to this view, and um, it looks yeah, looks like the moon's rolling, like it's rolling, it's turning, it was rolling kind of. And now look at that curve on the moon. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> I saw that from Earth. It's the, the Terminator. <laughs> oh, there it went away. They took care of it. This is definitely real. That's that's what it looks like when you fly away from the moon. Very cool. So we get to the uh, scuba diver here, which I believe is next. Okay, yeah, here, here we, we go. go. So this is just a mess of a piece of film. First of all, I don't know why um, the astronauts don't have backpacks in this spacewalk, but like they don't have their life support. Um, There's so many things wrong with this. The big box that they usually have on their back. Oh, wait, it already has. Can I ask a question? Has any Glober ever explained why the spacesuits don't blow up like the Michelin Man, you know, due to the pressure differential? I don't think anybody's ever looked, any <clears throat> no. Glober's ever looked at these things, because I know we didn't. When we believed the Earth well, was the globe, I guess you could say, we never even knew these things existed, these videos. So I don't think that, I don't even think that they would even venture to try and explain. I don't know, maybe they would. Would Red's rhetoric explain he has to think this is real, so I guess you'd have to explain it. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit out of control. So, you know, my opinion would be right here, you've got the uh, scuba divers behind him with his foot. Now, I, you know, I don't see that right here, so but you'll see it in a second. Um, because they got to hold his feet down. And I love the little floppy visor on the helmet, like in the 80s when they, they had those sunglasses that just like, flipped up with the right. shades. <laughs> the other thing you'll notice is the uh, lack of like a, where the shadow should be. Oh, but we'll see that coming back. But this is a right really here, funny. Here he gets a foot cramp because he stops for a second. <laughs> and hopefully it's clear enough. Oh, okay, did you see that bubble? We'll go back just so you can see. There's probably what 15 bubbles here. Maybe. Maybe 15 bubbles and. And I would I wouldn't say that there were bubbles if they weren't all going in the same direction. There's one. So look at they come this where, way. Where, where, where the bubbles going off the guy in the back? Okay. Uh, yeah, they look like they come from this direction. There's another one. And usually here he's probably getting set up for something. Who I know knows the what video is not paused right now. Just, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's just him taking time out. He's tired. So in a second here, and the most obvious part is you see the yellow scuba tank. tank. Yeah. So if it's not a scuba tank, then you need to explain to me what is yellow and attached to the, well, it's not attached anymore, mm -mm. to the outside of the ship. There was nothing yellow. Mm -mm. Um, that's a big tank. And he doesn't have, this time he doesn't have a, a sack hanging around him. You know what I mean? No bag. No bag. And you'll actually see, okay, so I want you to watch right here. Can you see my mouse? Yeah, right in the middle. Okay, this is this cord is being held by the scuba diver. And you'll be able to see it's not a shadow that what is, oh, there's another bubble. There it goes. Bye, bubble. Bye. And um, so you see this is a hand. And he's just helping him with it. It'll disappear and then it'll come back. And it's not a shadow because you can see it. See underneath him here? We'll go back and show that. No. Oop, maybe okay. not. You need to show that scuba tank first because that the rest of this one sounds iffy. Oh. There's another bubble. Clearly water. Clearly, uh, you know, NASA's busted. Gigs up. It's obvious now. There goes another bubble. Here it is. Watch mm -hmm. it. And I, I'm... I would say that before I saw the scuba guys, um, I would say those little things flying off. I'd be like, you know, those could be like little flakies coming off. Like it never was a bubble believer. 
and I'm still like a 90% bubble believer. But if they're in the water, then there's absolutely. You just see that one go right in front of your face? Watch one of the things they do to, to to fool you is they film this at an angle or upside down at times. So the bubble's not going straight up because they got the camera, you know, turn 15 Absolutely. degrees to the side. Good. That's true. There's another bubble. Oh, there, I tried to pause it in time. I missed it. I saw it. The one went right in front of the screen. Okay. So if you kind of watch this area over here, you'll see that there's a scuba diver helping him. Another bubble, but you'll definitely see the tank here in a second. 